He was it the says opposite. I'm the host of the Rich no, Keefe show. He was the opposite of a Belichick. Co- All right, let's coach. go to the podium. For NFL draft. Oh, this clown. The Chicago Bears select Caleb Williams. No. Quarterback, Southern California. Wow. There you go. Caleb Williams. People do not seem very right, happy. Go. Caleb Williams' first playoff win will come. Wait, I would play Caleb Williams' first what? Playoff win will come when? Uh, 2026. Yeah, that division's all of a sudden pretty good. That division's the really Packers good. really good. The Vikings never seem to be bad. If I, they get a quarterback, that team is going to be. And then I mean, the Packers are well, the best. The Lions are really good, and the Bears are pretty talented. I kind of like the Bears. Their I roster's think, good. If I, he can play, it's on him. We Andy, talk about it. And oh, there'll be no excuses way, for him. Like nope. he'll know right away. They still have another top ten pick coming yep. up. Yep. Yeah, they do. He's going to be throwing to uh, DJ Moore. What's his name? Keenan, Keenan Allen, Allen Cole, Cole Komet, and a first-round receiver potentially fun if they fact, want. Fun fact about the Chicago Bears. They have never in their franchise's history had a quarterback throw for more than 4,000 yards or 30 touchdowns in yeah. a single Are season. Are you telling me Caleb Sid Williams, Luckman never did that? Never. Otto Graham? <laughs> never. Did he play for them? Jay Cutler didn't even do it. Uh, <laughs> Brian Caleb Williams Greasy? could do that in his rookie year. Jim Both McMahon. Of those you know who had a couple of good games? Uh, I remember this from fantasy in like 97. Cade McNown. <laughs> A couple good games. He did. <laughs> Fantasy football. Kate McNown won the game. Well, Rex Grossman got to a Super Bowl. So do you guys think and Caleb... Rex Grossman's our quarterback. Do you guys think Caleb Williams is going to be good? Him. Yes. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think he's going to be great. Yeah. I do. Great? Yeah. What's great? Um, great means Super Bowl. Does it? So Josh Allen's not great? Mm, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. Uh, You're right. I take back my point. But the difference is, I think Josh Allen's going to win a Super Bowl. Like, do you think, you know how, like, every year there's a Super Bowl worthy quarterback? I think he's a Super Bowl worthy quarterback. Because Josh Allen was going toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes. He could have a Super Bowl. Caleb Williams could. Caleb Williams could. Will at some point win Joe Burrow. He doesn't. That's my point. He's a Super Bowl worthy quarterback. These are all Super Bowl worthy quarterbacks. But, like, you know how every year there's, like, you know, your top 10 quarterbacks. And some years the guy who you might have ranked eighth. Has the best season, and yeah. that's when Cam Newton wins an MVP or Matt Ryan right. wins an MVP. He will win an MVP. Caleb Williams will. Yeah, if I, I probably would bet yes rather than no on that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think, I mean, and we all could be really, really wrong. There's a lot of really good quarterbacks in the league right now. There's a lot of young ones, so like that, he's he's in the mix with a lot of really talented guys. But no, I I like him. I also really like Trevor Lawrence coming out, and like he's been fine. Yeah, you won a playoff game at least. Yeah. No, I know, but. No, I like Caleb Williams, but I think I like even more what the Bears have done around him. I agree. Right. And I it's think, like, all right, we're going to still still make sure we know if he's good. Yeah, right, and they're not done. And if they get another tackle or Roma Dunze in there to help him even more, like that team, their defense was good, really good last year. Uh, they kept a lot of pieces. They signed Montez Sweat to an extension. Yep. So that defense is going to be good. Eberflus is finally putting that thing together. And then offensively, uh, you know, your, your guy Shane Waldron's in charge over there now on the offensive side, right? Yes, he is. Sugar Let's Shane. Go Shane. Sugar Shane Waldron. Yeah, Bose. Who uh, was it? Jackson Smith and Jigba loves him. Yes. He that was, is not <laughs> accurate. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. No, he did not speak all that highly. Hey, we can, you can't please everybody. Have no, you ever heard yeah. that? I have. I have heard uh, that. It's unbelievable, but according to whichever clock we're looking at, we're somewhere away five minutes from yeah. the Patriots being on the clock. Yeah, Washington yeah. is midway through its time. Yep. This is amazing to me. We're here, man. Nothing's changed. Wait. We had to wait like 14 picks and then a trade down last year. This really year. is Christmas. I get all ramped it up really and then is. it's over immediately. That's why Christmas Eve is better than Christmas Day. 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. The anticipation yeah. is better than the event. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> right, listen, there's nothing wrong with the anticipation. I'm just saying. Uh, no, but so Caleb Williams, uh, no surprise, goes number one. There was all that talk about, oh, the guy, he wants to own a, fr- he wants to own the team that drafts him. And, like, he cried and he paints his nails and, like, all this stuff. I'm like, yeah. he's still the best quarterback in what is a very good quarterback class. Correct. So, yeah. You know, and he, we talked about it earlier for Drake May. Bears hat is hot. It's the same for. Yeah, for, I like the draft hat. It's not bad. I don't love it. Okay. Uh, it's the same for him, though. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> he's been the projected number one pick for basically three years. Yeah, right. He He's dealt with adversity. He's dealt with yeah. success. He's dealt with changing. And some of that was the talk this year. If you read some of those quotes, like, he didn't know how to lose. Like, he didn't expect to lose. And, like, we're not going to a conference championship. We're not in the hunt for a national title. Right. Well, especially when he's putting up 40 points a game. Right. And I think that's all good. That's experience. That's like adversity. putting something in the bank that you're going to pull off of later so it's not the first time when it matters. Like Mac Jones, who I think hit his first adversity and the wheels fell off and he melted. Was not prepared for it. Also, Probably. maybe didn't have a great support system in place for Probably. when But that's part of the adversity. adversity. It is. Like you're a pro. Right? Pierce is making the call. Who's he calling? You're a pro. Better not be calling Drake May.
I don't like the setup of the commander's war room. Cheap ass just- setup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? Hey, do you have any tables? Yeah, we can put a little uh, a tablecloth on it. You got a black table. Gonna yell across the room. Hey, no. you, you good with this pick? That is, is what's bad? the big opening in the middle? The dance. I'll yeah. tell you, as bad as 2020 was, the draft that year. Pretty cool because you like went inside a lot of people's houses yeah, and stuff. The like Andy that was Reed, Tommy Bahama. Well, did Chris Kingsbury's and fake house. Mike Vrabel had somebody pooping white. in the background. There's the sun. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But the Rams did that this year. The Rams have a draft house again. They yeah. rented like they a twenty million dollar mansion. They also built a field on the beach yep. just to hype up the I like draft. That. I like yeah, draft they, house. they do a good job hyping stuff up out yeah. there. Oh, I guess in Hollywood, you kind of L.A. Gotta, baby, yeah. everything's bigger. Yeah, you kind of have to. But uh, yeah, we all assume it'll be uh, Jaden Daniels here. It better with be. Yeah. If it's not, how happy are we with Jaden Daniels at three? Not happy. I not will at all. take no. him. No, Sean's way off on this. I will I take him. I will definitely. I am I'll run up there and take I have. Daniels. Du- I have doubts about him. I really have some significant doubts about his ability, A, to take hits, B, to be an accurate passer. I don't love his they, passing People game. talk about Drake May's accuracy, and I look at Jaden Daniels He's like, well, sailing what are you balls seeing? It's all, he does, all he does <laughs> is throw outside the boundaries 30 yards down the field because his receivers are smoking everyone. But even he has a lot of completions. They run a slant, and oh, it's like Brian team. Thomas running a slant, reaching way behind him to catch the yeah. ball. Well, what happens when you don't have the best receiver on the field to catch the ball? That's a pick. Yeah. That's a that's a deflected pass pick six. Kendrick Bourne's not catching that. I'm right. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, I have some I would take him because I think he has franchise quarterback upside yeah. and ability. But I am more concerned about taking. Could he I be was, Lamar? Your guy Lamar? Can no. he be close to that? He's so much there. Lamar was such a better passer coming out of college than than uh, he is. There was a no, uh, coming out of college. Though, there was a lot of knocks on Lamar's. You sure? No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. There was. A, yeah. There's always been a lot of knocks on Lamar. But I'm just saying yeah. his ability to throw at different levels of the field was far less in question than Jaden Daniels. Yeah, I mean, he didn't, have, in. he didn't have neighbors or uh, oh, Thomas do, either. Yeah, yeah. Lamar didn't. Yes, saying. exactly. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, he was playing at Louisville. Yeah. You want a Heisman, though. That's true. So this is also just like the uh, Winston Mariota year. You're going to have uh, back-to-back Heisman winners go in this draft, right? Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, okay, well, How'd that work out for you? <laughs> oh, not, not hot. Not great. Both guys still in the league, though, I James, believe, right? really good at fishing. Did you see those videos? Really funny. Uh, I highly recommend he it. He kind of is a character. He's an awesome James. character. He he's a of, mediocre quarterback. Lacey at Jameis, baby. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, he, got the, he got the eye surgery fixed. He thought he wasn't going to throw <laughs> picks anymore. Here we go. To the podium. Podium. Commissioner. With the second pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Washington Commanders select Jaden Daniels. Yeah. All right, very good. Mayday. We have Thank you, Commissioner. Jaden Daniels. So May. it is so far chalk. Okay. Chimes mock draft up in smoke. Yeah, and it's not totally up in smoke. Not great. How Wait, do you you so, didn't have Jaden Daniels? No, I had Drake May going too. Son of a. <laughs> Uh, okay. Why were you swinging for the fences there? Was there a need? Not that we. No, needed. I just didn't so buy the, it. So, the I Patriots are pick. the Patriots are officially on the clock. It might be. Patriots have ten minutes to <sighs> take calls. This is crazy. So right now, this Stiz, is wild. Uh, if you're this Elliot, is my well, first draft. So look at the <laughs> smile in there. He is so happy. Look at that it's smile. Like, it's like a little kid. Are you a Drake May guy? Uh yeah. Who, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> is he beefing with Kendrick Lamar right now? <laughs> so who is Elliot Wolf talking to right now? The Vikings. Well, according to Shime, Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah, am crashed. I allowed to make a pick here? So do the so if the Vikings and Giants, this is always kind of does fast. I don't me. see how the no. Giants can make a trade that I would that would entice me off a of Drake. But well, I think calling. it's impossible. They are are they clogging up the right phone? Now. Yes, they are. Re- how many lines really do you have? What are they crazy offering? Six. We have what? You get like a busy signal? Yeah, maybe. Trying to call the Pats, you can't get through. How many players do they have that I'd even want? Because they're going to have to throw in players, and I don't think they have any. No, you don't want any of their guys. Okay, so they have no players. They have some. Who? I don't know. I like Kayvon Thibodeau and Deontay Banks. Me. <laughs> me. Just like me. I mean, I would take them, I guess. You throw both of them so in the and Giants, three first round picks. Maybe yep. I'd have to listen. I don't think so. They also pick 47 in this draft. Yep. That's further away from good players. I understand. I don't I don't need that. I, I get how it I get how it I goes. don't see a way the Giants could entice me personally into yeah. trading. Well, unless unless they really like JJ McCarthy. That's that's the caveat, right? If the Patriots like J.J. McCarthy just a little less than Drake May, Don't get cute. but it's close, they could trade down and get him at six. Don't get cute. First and of you all, get a bunch of draft capital. Do you think, like, you and I do this every year. We yeah. fall in love with people. Yep. Could you do that? 
Like, so you have Drake May. Could you say, like, you know what? I'm going to give up the opportunity to the guy I've been lusting after talking about for three months because there's another guy that I guess I'm – like, I couldn't no, do it. But I'm I all in. No, but I wouldn't have taken Jaden Daniels at two either. So NFL franchises do things I wouldn't do all no, the no, time. No, 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 but they love Jaden Daniels. Look at the he highlight was, package. You just running past guys into the end zone. It's like a demolition derby. Oh, Jaden Daniels. Nobody touched him on that one. What are you talking about? He's there. Look at that. Look at the touch on that pass. We're talking that guy's about people that stud. aren't watching this. Jaden didn't watch. Why are you just... doing play-by-play on late highlights? <laughs> the highlights. Some people might be doing a watch-along. They might be watching the, on mute, I would assume, and then listening to us. That's a good take. If you like Drake May, if Drake May is number one on your board right now, yeah, at the quarterback take position, I take him. No, no then you shouldn't even take calls then. You should well, just be like, no, no, where's no. our guy? You should always take calls. Even always now, take calls. if Drake May was their guy, because Shyman and I were talking about this before you got here, if they were taking calls ahead of time because they were like, maybe Washington does surprise us, and we don't like Jaden Daniels as much as Drake May. We need to be prepared to see what is being offered to trade down. But, but you always need lo- to be prepared. Yeah, but Chicago's not talking to people about what it would take to get up. And to Washington one. was actively telling people we're not taking. They're not right. talking to anybody. I don't either. think that's smart business, personally. Okay, because sure. you never you know what the person's going to offer. What if they offer like the bag as they keep using well, if you, organizationally? If you think yeah, you have Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen, I, there's no such thing. Like, yeah, you're keeping. You can offer guy. me ten first pa- round picks, and I'm not yeah. going to give you Patrick Mahomes. Right. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's a little different because of what he's become. Well, it's not a little what strong. Coming in. But maybe even like the top five quarterbacks. Like, I, I feel like it's, it'd be almost insane to trade. Yeah, any you're, of those guys. I'm not going. I'm not giving you Lamar Jackson for five first round picks. Yeah, but he went 32nd. I'm talking about. Well, now the no, guy. I'm saying now, like Here I'm saying go. in general. The pick. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Is he just the pick is in? The no, pick is in, but they're not oh, the podium okay. yet. Oh, okay. Not you the sca- podium yet. You scared I was me. excited. I got excited for a oh, second, man. Dan. I hope it's wait. coming down to this. The pick is officially okay. So they're making a pick. They're making a pick. Okay. Because at this point, they would say trade, right? Yes, you would they have would the say big trade. alert would pop up and say trade. So the Patriots Correct. are making a pick at number three. Oh, God. that is what we have. Shime's getting nervous. He's I'm also not at nervous at the NFL at all. shop. He's getting ready to buy a drink made jersey. I'm not nervous at all. Patriot. I think this is the same pick they would have made in November, and his name starts with Gerard Mayo basically told Steve Burton right after the uh, his intro yeah. press conference. And there's That's nothing wrong with that. There no. were three franchise Ooh, quarterbacks free in this draft. Get in on that. Free shipping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe get two. Uh, no, I'll probably get, Home the dra- away? I'll get the draft hat. Oh, I'll get the draft hat. The draft hat's nice. Yeah, the draft hat's smart. But, yeah, this is you know three teams taking a swing at franchise quarterbacks. And I know a lot of people are like, Oh, well, like they can't all be good. Or why? Like, that's my point. Of course they can. There's also, that idiot, Yoda lady, who who, Yoda man, whatever, who tells me the third pick is jinxed and you can't take a quarterback oh, with the third pick okay. is just pure idiot. No, the history of the third pick. No, like, Hall oh, Joey of Harrington Famer. was the third pick. There's but, never okay. been a Hall Nick of Famer. So was the third. No, no, no. no pick. Quarterbacks. Oh, just quarterbacks. There's never oh, been a Hall of Famer or a Super Bowl champien taken in the the third pick. The third First, overall pick second. or the third quarterback? The no, third, no, third overall, overall pick. A quarterback in the third slot, and it's the – to me, I go the opposite. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That's the weirdest stat ever, which means you're parameter. due. No, it means you're literally due. <laughs> what a weird you, set of parameters. Yeah, it was one of my terrible fights on Twitter that Rich gets mad at me when I have, but I enjoy them. You so have them a lot. He gets I, hot. I do. So uh, I have call it heartburn. That's right. Patriots. Look at the war oh, room. Oh, there we go. Look at the war Jonathan room Jonathan and Elliot uh, laughing it up. David Silverman, the photographer. They have a better <laughs> setup. They have more tables. Some of them look like a rich mahogany, maybe. Yeah. Guys it's dressed not up. Great. They got TVs on in there. No, it's not. It's not Drake great. May with a raised eyebrow has got the people's eyebrow going Oh, up. boy. He, he doesn't, doesn't look happy. Oh, what is going I'm on so here? Nervous. No, he doesn't. Now he's squinting. Don't Oh, he's rubbing here his we go. hair. To the podium. For the commissioner, with the pick, Roger Goodell. Please talk. With the third pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Drake May. Let's go! Quarterback, North Carolina. Got him! Got a quarterback, baby. There we go. Drake May. Screw your roster that. that's not ready for a rookie quarterback. Very good. Oh, I don't care. You. Thank you, God. <laughs> After all that, after three months of breaking down what was going to happen, they did what I think most people wanted and kind of how we thought the draft was going to go. One, two, three. So the Boston Celtics are perennial contenders because they took Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum in the third overall pick. Both number threes. The New England Patriots will return to glory because they just took Drake May with the third overall pick. I love it. I'm into it. New franchise quarterback. I'm so happy. Drake May. That is such a handsome man. Going to be a His buddy's not the same, though. He's got a weird crew of pals. He's got a lot of guys there. Glenn yeah. Ordway, he walked by. It might have been. <laughs> He's got the Carolina blue tie on. I uh, love good Sneaks. Carolina. I'm going to have to get a pair of like Carolina blue Jordan ones there just for him. Absolutely. So Drake May, the first pick with Elliot Wolf, the first pick in the last uh, two and a half decades, not 
made by Bill Belichick. The most important is Jake May. And the most important since Drew Bledsoe. Since Drew Bledsoe, and it's not even close. And whether it was by uh, design or he let his football people make decisions, Robert Kraft got his wish. He has a talented, good, young quarterback that he can sell jerseys to people like Shime tonight. Uh Go to Patriots.com on the Splash page. I've already refreshed the page a couple times. It's coming, baby. And the excitement level, the, the anticipation for a team that is picking third in the draft, Hope has returned to New England. Like I'm yeah. being yes. over dramatic. I feel a little bit like Sean Grandy no, no, here, but you gotta, like you gotta do it. Hope it's has poetic. returned to New England and I, with this pick. It may blow up. Sure. I make no guarantees in exact science, all that crap. But you, in my opinion, got the second best player in the draft potentially. I agree. At the number I think three he's, pick, be the best. and he fills your massive hole. That's where you were talking about Gerard Mayo. You had a massive hole. Yeah. You had Jacoby Brissett penciled in. Nobody wants to see Jacoby oh, Brissett. Insane. No, don't want to see him. I don't want to see him week one. We can get into that. A May bit later and Mayo on, go together like Kraft and Mayo <laughs> or something. Let's uh, get them drinks. We'll workshop it. In here we'll, for Drake. We'll drinks cakes drinks. for everyone. Oh, yeah. oh, Drake's cakes would be huge. How does he not already no. have a Drake's cake? Like, no, well, to me, it's How do we more... not have them in here right now? <laughs> so, no. I can go get some from Ted's office. Oh, uh, Drake's cake in my mouth right now. Get that. <laughs> Saved. Save that. Up. So uh, to me, it's like a sense of relief that they didn't get slappy and draft JJ McCarthy. Oh, I, I thought, like for the last week leading up to this, there was a legit chance they went with JJ McCarthy, or they went trade down, and either it was just trade down and like bathe in the picks, or trade down and move back up, like some people were talking about this week. Don't do that. Don't get cute. Draft the guy. There's this is a draft with a bunch of good quarterbacks. Ooh. You have a chance to draft uh, maybe the second best one. He doesn't look great in a hat. He, well, listen, he doesn't That's have to fine. wear the hat. He's not he a baseball a helmet, player. Not a hat. He looks good in a helmet, doesn't he? Damn right. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He looks, great hair. He looks great without the hat. Yeah. yeah He's got a nice smile. Yeah. yeah. Does he look like the leader Picturesque. of a franchise? I heard somebody, this is inappropriate, but He's somebody, a young gun. Uh, high school sweetheart girlfriend. How do you feel about that? Bo Nix is married. My high school sweetheart girlfriend? What are you <laughs> no. talking about? He has his girlfriend. They've been oh, together like nine his, years. He's with his girlfriend. Yeah, I like that. that. Drew Bledsoe was the JJ same thing. JJ McCarthy's the same way. Bo Nix is married. Russell Wilson? I, I think it's loyalty. They got super divorced like two years after he got drafted. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade was married. No, I think she keeps both, him grounded because she knew him prior to Patriots first style. round QBs. They're now putting up. Look at Jim that Plunkett, list. Tony Eason, Drew Bledsoe, Mac Jones. You know what Drake. I see? So every other one is good. Drake May winner. How many of those, three of those guys so played happy. in Super Bowls though? Mac Jones, the only guy that broke the Super Bowl streak. Yeah, I'm so Tony happy. Eason <laughs> broke the generation of Patriots fans. John was, Hanna hated him. Eason was the crazy quarterback draft, right? Wasn't yes, that the uh, 83. John Elway, LA. Dan Marino, yep. Jim Kelly? And he went higher than he should have in said crazy quarterback yeah. draft. But Drake May. Drake May. I don't get too excited about May things no, too you're often. Pumped, dude. Like, I got jaded. I'll admit it. Got jaded maybe a little bit over 20-something years Probably. covering the team and then yeah. Bill and losing and worn down. I was as excited coming in here as I've been for a draft in a long time. And now as I'm yeah. as excited to look forward to training camp. See, I was so anxious coming into tonight because I was worried I that they were going to screw it up. I, I was worried. That was it for I was me. Just, I was so nervous that they were going to mess Elliot, this up. In Elliot, we trust. No, I don't trust him. Wolf. Make me, prove it to me before I He just you. did. I'm starting to. Oh, Cardinals, pick is in. They're not trading either. Cardinals aren't messing around. They See, should I thought this was going to happen. Here comes All these trade talks and then the trade's going to trickle down further. Yeah, here comes MHJ. They He's going to walk out. They and they should. Him. Maserati Marv heads to Arizona. Oh, now in two years, I'm get gonna, a quarterback to go with him. He's going to stay in the red and white. <laughs> I'm going to overdraft the heck out of him in fantasy. <laughs> oh, you're, you're damn right. Much. You're damn right. You're going to go real high, Marvin Taking Harrison. Drake May, number one overall in my oh, fantasy God. league. Dude, Drake May. I'm having a hot flash. There you go. He does look like a young guy, but you're remember. A 47-year-old woman? <laughs> 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 Woo! You're going to sit down. It's like you are sitting down. Uh, remember, Justin Herbert looked insanely young when he got drafted. Yes, he did. Yes. He was one of those like baby face guys, yeah. and then he sort of matured pretty quickly. Drake May definitely has a little baby face. He looks young. Too. He's a young gun. And How do they is. not have this jersey up yet? Yeah, they should be ready to go. Has he picked his number? I mean, ten's open, right? Yeah. What happened? Mac Jones isn't here anymore. Of course they open. just traded. <laughs> so if you have uh, your Mac Jones jersey, they're not doing a give back, but maybe you can just tape May over Jones. Yeah. Here we go to the podium for the number four pick. Roger. Roger. Are With you there? the fourth pick oh. in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Marvin Harrison Jr. Easy. Wide receiver, Ohio State. There we go. Chalk. Yeah, it had to yeah. be outside of Caleb Williams. It was like the most predictable pick in the draft. So all these teams that want to trade up and want quarterbacks don't have cojones. Uh, 
Yeah, or I wonder if Arizona's like, we like Harrison this much. We don't have to do anything. Yeah, we got a couple extra picks, but we like Harrison that much more than, you know, neighbors. And or they needed else. players. Like, they needed a stud. Oh, they, yeah, it's a great, great pick for them. This oh. That offense needed players. This is, you know, Bolden and Fitzgerald. They like the history of great receivers. Pencil him in. I, I keep saying 10,000 yards. I just... Yeah, I find it hard to believe he's not going to hit 10,000 yards in the next 10 years. Definitely. Like, I don't know if he'll have a lot of 1,800-yard seasons. But it's just 1,000 yards every, every year. Every like, year. Pumping it, it out. It's like Mike yards. Evans. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I absolutely think that's who he is. And if their quarterback, who they paid a boatload of money, is who he's supposed to be, you just took a, a leap forward as a franchise. Because they're doing the same thing the Patriots are doing in different ways. Like, they needed the playmaker. They think they have their quarterback. You're checking off those marquee positions. Patriots checked off quarterback. Yeah, I, I'm. I think this is. I'm so excited. This is I'm it, happy. man. But this is one through four is ended up being chalk yeah, to this yep. point. Now, there's still the thought that the Patriots might take their number thirty four pick, which is the second pick in the second round, which is tomorrow night. But they want to move up and maybe grab a guy in the first round. So now I'm still fascinated to see where J.J. McCarthy goes, where Bo Nix goes, where Michael Penix goes. I'm also fascinated to hear what Bill Belichick has to say about Drake May. I can't wait. (laughs) Because Merrill Hodge hates him. Dan Orlovsky hates him. Is there a chance Bill Belichick hates him? Mm, There is. And will he have the balls? Because there was a report months ago that uh, didn't somebody say that if Bill Belichick was still in charge, he loved Jaden Daniels. That was an insane report. On top of his board in November. From somebody that we've never heard of. Absolutely wild. There was that. Our first four picks are in, but most importantly, Drake May has been selected third overall by the New England Patriots. They have their new franchise quarterback, and uh, will they make another pick this round? So we will discuss that and get you all the picks here in the first round. Marvin Harrison, the latest, going Super to Bowl, Arizona. Super Bowl, here we come! It's the uh, Rich Keefe Show all-night draft party with Hart and Shime. Fitzy on his way a little bit later here on WEI. Drake May, quarterback, North Carolina. May, clean pocket. Now he rolls out to the right. He's going to try to go deep. Has a man there. Cut. Yards goal. Drake May has elite arm strength and ideal size. At six foot four, 230 pounds, he can make throws off platform and make plays with his legs. May's confidence in his arm can occasionally lead him to make risky throws under pressure, but he's an accurate passer with a prototypical NFL arm. There you go, Drake May, the pick for the New England Patriots at number three overall. Your next franchise quarterback back here on the all-night draft party, WEEI, Keith Hart and Shime. These two guys love Drake May. They love Drake May the whole time. I like Drake May. I like him. So can we play a little game like I here? love games. I, oh, also, we're going to hear what Bill Belichick had to say about Drake May. Okay. Okay. Let's so, play the game first. Little, little game. Drake May. What is best case scenario or upside, the ceiling that Gerard Mayo talked about? What's the floor and what is the safe projection? Okay. Uh, Ceiling, I would say two time Super Bowl winner. I like I like the sounds of that. Wow! I I eight rings podcast with Fitzy and Hart, like Ben Roethlisberger type type career. Okay, he throws for a million yards. It's It's called Hall 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 of Fame. Fame. It's a Hofa. In the 2024 NFL Draft. Oh, pick five. Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers Chase select Wilson? Joe Alt. Oh! Tackle. <laughs> Notre Dame. That's not good for you, right? Chargers yeah, lost the bet. Not, so it's not great. I yeah. lose the bet, but like they went offensive line. I didn't expect them. That means receivers are moving. So yeah, yeah, a couple that's guys dropped a little. So Joe Alt. Yes. They were all you oh, people. Let's pray that... for my Drake May. Uh, JJ McCarthy <laughs> bet, though. <laughs> this is the guy figuring out how many bets do I I'm have stuck, going? I'm, st- I'm stuck on Drake May. I have the Drake May jersey up in front of me. They don't have it on number. It's just number one because it was the no. first pick. So I, I think I have to wait. Yeah, no, okay. I think you can order it, and then as soon as he is given a number, look at the Joe Alt arrives. draft party. Looks like a blast. He's a big, <laughs> he's a big gun. fella. Six eight. Yeah, guys, uh, that that's not a. Damn. They man, all look the house. exact same. Look at that woman, back, girl, like a, whatever she is next to him, looks staring, very uncomfortable. She's staring at the camera, not happy to be there. No. But anyway, Joe Alt's the fifth pick to the Chargers. Now the Giants are on the clock at six. But going Son back, to Alt, as I said, said you so, think Hall of Fame Drake Hall May? Of, Drake that's, May ceiling so Hall of Fame. Two Super Bowl rings. I say floor. That's just funny. Either way. Why? Floor, I think Drake based May. Based on what Shime's guessing. First you're ever. Like, you're like acting like he's won two First Super ever Bowl. to win the Super Bowl coming out of the number three pick as a quarterback. Yeah, according true. to some yodel man on Twitter. Floor, I think it's probably like Jay Cutler where he throws for a bunch of yards, but he never wins a 
gosh darn thing. Oh, I like that. Anyway, there's and some I, entertainment I, value there. Is he going to marry a hot woman? Uh, my, oh, I mean, he is, is a well, yeah, nine-year yeah. girlfriend or whatever. And then I mm, think yeah. I think the safe bet... <laughs> Not for long. I think the safe bet is like Philip Rivers. That, Another Hall of Famer? Borderline Hall of Famer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who Did never it, won a thing. Yes. We're not here to talk about him being in the Hall of Fame. I, th- I think like Wait, so worst case scenario in your mind is Jay, Jay Cutler? Cutler? Yeah. A multi-time Pro Bowler. A no, dude. A franchise the, QB for two teams. Multi-time Pro Bowler? I believe so. Yeah, I think it was like a one-time Pro Bowler. No, like, I need one more for it to be multi. <laughs> <laughs> for the worst case scenario, you would have to go with, like, Jameis Winston, right? Or, like, no. lower. No, yeah. worst case scenario, you it's go like with, like, dumb. Zach Wilson. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Like, out of the league. That's how worst case scenario is. That's like, what I think. He's trending in the wrong direction. I don't think that's he's uh, Jay but, Cutler, one-time Pro Bowler. Damn. So, I, yeah. that's, I'm all, telling you. Dude, they're all Pro Bowlers. He's going to throw for a million I yards. I he had more than that. I yeah, thought he surprising. made it in both teams. I thought he made it for the Bears and the Broncos. Nope, only Broncos. with the Broncos in his third year with the Broncos. Yeah, McDaniels was right to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, didn't work. But why? What do you think the ceiling and floor are for May? So the ceiling, I think, is similar. I think if you're in the Super Bowl conversation, if he mm-hmm. enters the world we talked about, yeah, then you have. If things go right, you have a shot to win a couple. You have a shot to not win any and still be in that conversation. So I think the the ceiling is a. Super Bowl conversation annually quarterback. Fra- a true franchise. I just think it's Not so- a fake franchise quarterback. No, I get it. A real-ass franchise quarterback. But just in the AFC right now, you have Patrick Mahomes, you have Justin Herbert, you have Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud potentially, Trevor Lawrence potentially, yeah, uh, Deshaun Watson, whatever you want to think of him. So, like, he's in that conversation. That's what you're hoping for. That's the high side. The no. low side is it just doesn't work. He's overwhelmed. The footwork, everything that people rip on him. Maybe they never don't get him a fruition. receiver. And it's just sort of Alex like Alex Van Pelt's to... offense blows this year. He's yeah. fired halfway through next year. New guy comes in. That contributes to Drake May spiraling downwardly. Yeah. That's the worst case scenario. And I think the most likely scenario yes. is I'm trying to think of the most likely are you going based on like career or skill set and career? Because well, like the comps. See, are... I went specifically on career. I didn't even. Yeah, think no, okay. I'm thinking so career, but I'm also thinking. To me, the most likely scenario is also the one that's most tied to the surrounding cast of coaches, of players. Ryan of... Tannehill. Because I think you're right. The difference between the eighth quarterback, the fourth quarterback, and the twelfth quarterback in any given year is health, receivers, O line, mm-hmm. coaching. Like. And all of a sudden, I think he's in that that window, and he ends up in the mediocre middle of the NFL. Yeah, because there's very few guys that can take like Mahomes, Brady, take not much, well, and still win, right? Yeah, like that's Mahomes sort of, is that's in a, a different category by correct. himself. Yeah, they, right. him and Brady are in categories completely different. separate from. And him then him. there's the next tier where it is the guys like Allen and Burrow who haven't won anything but could win anything they want on any given day. And at least Burrow's yeah. been there; like he had a chance right. to. He was sure. this close, absolutely, compared to Josh Allen. But he been was this close because of him. Jimmy Garoppolo was this close, but he wasn't this close to jo- Joe Burrow. No. Like, not all Super Bowl yeah. losing quarterbacks are the same. Sure. But, I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo is a throw away from being a Super Bowl winner. Yeah, they're literally a foot away. And I think oh, okay. I think the reality, the like, the, the most likely scenario is uh, a tweener quarterback. And I don't want to say this name because this name is Uh-oh. worse than I think good. this will be. I think pick Daniel Jones. In the 2024 <laughs> NFL Speaking draft, of, the Giants. The New York Giants select... Malik Neighbors. The right pick. They need Wide a receiver. Guy. Yep. LSU. See, now they yeah. had a guy, if I was trying to trade with him, that I'd want off their roster more. <laughs> yeah, Malik Neighbors. I'll take Malik Neighbors. Even though I actually am not as high on Neighbors as all those people that said he was better than Marvin Harrison Jr. and all that. He was yeah. best receiver. I am not sold. I'm not actually sold he's the best receiver coming into the NFL off of LSU. That's what I yeah, you so, got sold by like Thomas quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, let's hear from Bill Belichick Uh-oh. and what he did. Thinks of the Drake Shiley. May pick. How are you feeling right now watching that happen with the team that obviously you are so synonymous with? And what do you think about the player that they took in this new era? Uh, well, I think that's certainly a top need for him. It's quarterback, tackle, and wide receiver. And so, you know, this is one of the top needs. Uh, you know, Drake compares himself a lot to Josh Allen. He does has uh, been doing that for quite a while. Uh, we'll see about that. I think there are some similarities in terms of, you know, size and, and athleticism. But Josh Allen's a pretty special player now, so. Get out of here. <laughs> you didn't like Josh Allen, you fraud. When everybody said he was an MVP candidate, you said you didn't yeah. see it. He's like, well, we'll see about him being you Josh Allen. You fraud-ass fraud. <laughs> Uh, Josh Allen, very special player. Right. What Thank is you, that? you fraud? He's like, oh, he, he compares himself to Josh Allen. We'll see about that. It has, wait, hold on. Has Drake May compared himself to Josh uh, Allen or has other people? I don't know. Him? He said he, uh, 
I models his game, models after, his or game, it, likes yeah. Josh That's Allen, like whatever. To Josh I Allen. was the first person I heard comparing to Josh <laughs> Allen. It's because you don't listen to anybody. That's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I can honestly no, remember, I remember you saying that. I like was a doing while, TV a while ago on the show. Oh my Sniff. God. With oh, Phil Perry. Radio, yeah. And I was like, I think he has Josh Allen, and we got off the air, and Phil Perry's like, Josh Allen, it's an interesting comp because everybody was on this Justin Herbert yeah. comp. And I think he's a better runner than Herbert. Uh, and he can be a Bell power says, runner. We'll see about that, Snort. <laughs> so now Bill loves him some Josh Allen. Apparently. It's funny, when Josh Allen was yeah. an MVP candidate, he didn't see it. Yeah. See, but I bet you Mc, but, uh, McAfee won't ask him about that. Hell, you're also, doing a great job here. <laughs> <laughs> you also know that for sure Belichick is rooting against Drake May. He wants the Patriots to go 0-17 yeah, for the next five years. Oh, well, so. and he goes like, and, you know, sure, Phil's a need. Yeah, because you screwed up the last time you tried to get a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, why'd they need a quarterback so bad, They Bill? needed a coach and a quarterback because of you. All right, this is uh, the all Why am I so angry when they have Drake May? I'm supposed to be happy. Get excited, up. Andy. Yeah. I'm happy, but Bill makes me angry sometimes. All right, take a, grab a snack. You, 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 grab a C4 and drink it. Fuel uh, up a little bit. <laughs> uh, be more angry. Draft coverage here at WEI brought to you by McFarland Energy, the home heating oil delivery and HVAC pros at McFarlandEnergy.com, by Chock Full of Nuts Coffee, and by McCormick Grill Mates Seasoning. We are six picks into round one of the NFL draft. Patriots taking Drake May, talking about it with you guys, and we'll also keep you up to date on all the picks, including if the Patriots trade back up into the first round. So go nowhere here on WEEI. Draft coverage on WEEI is brought to you by McFarlane Energy, the home heating oil delivery and HVAC pros at McFarlaneEnergy.com, by Chalk Full of Nuts Coffee, and by McCormick Grill Mate Seasoning. Time now for the Rich Keefe All Night Draft Party, along with the Six Rings crew, Fitzy, Hart, and Shine. Here's Rich Keefe on WEEI. Now, do they have it right? I think they can get it right. They got to coach them, and they can't just hang them out to dry like they did Mac Jones. This organization, the organization, has to help Drake May. 21 years of age, he's still developing. You talk about a kid who's six four and a half, 223 pounds, can make any throw you want. When he gets in a rhythm, he can pick you apart. Now, sometimes he doesn't always get in that rhythm. He runs a little hot and cold at times. I talked about some of that inconsistency with accuracy and precise pass. He was like a pitcher guy. Didn't always have his best stuff late in the year. But he didn't get a lot of help, as I said. Got that new coordinator, but not having that Josh Downs type security blanket that he had two years ago. If you sit him for a little bit, if you force him into play, I think he needs to sit, watch, and learn for at least five to seven games. Drake May, like I said, only 21, and a very athletic family. He wants to be great. The mobility he has, he drew comparisons to Justin Herbert going into the year. Justin Herbert had some struggles at times that final year at Oregon. Still hasn't gotten over the hump of the NFL, trying to finish games off in those final couple minutes. Drake May could be, like the Josh Allen comparisons exaggerated. I would go more to Justin Herbert. Drake May, still a guy who cannot underestimate talent, guys, and he's got enormous ability. And and I work at the second to none. All right, that was Mel Kuyper breaking down the Drake May pick bobo. by the Patriots at three. I talked him up, talked him down, talked all around. This is my turn to get angry. Okay, good. What the hell is this guy talking about? He's talking about Drake May. Give me, drawing comparisons to Justin Herbert, who still hasn't made it over the hump in the NFL. He threw for 5,000 yeah, yards in a season, you moron. He's pretty good. He's a good, he's a good player. He poo-pooed the Josh Allen ones. He's like, I heard Andy Hart say Josh Allen. He's like, not Josh Allen. Mel, I think the uh, game has passed you by. Oh, Let's don't you Bill say Belichick. that about Mel. You're damn not right. Tonight of all nights. Yeah, when he loses in a mock draft off with me. That's yeah. true. He did lose that. Although he's probably beating you this year because you had Drake May going too. Mm, maybe. But anyway, we're not going right. to we're we're dwell on that. That's okay. He but, did uh, uh, kind of call out Bill Belichick, too, though. He when he definitely said did. the organization can't hang him out to dry like they did Mac, like jo Mac Jones. No, no, that's Bill Belichick you're talking The guy yes. who's on a different channel right now yeah. talking to Pat McAfee in a friendly footsie pajama <laughs> patriot kind of party. Absolutely. Like, that was Bill Belichick that hung Mac Jones out to dry. Uh, He's not going to get hung yeah. out to dry like that because there are not, I don't know if you've heard this, uh -huh. there's not egos down there anymore. Well, it's collaborative. It's collaborative. Yeah, there's yeah. no silos. It's a different vibe. Great. Mm, and they're going nice. to look to... I truly believe they are bringing, you know how it always felt like Bill didn't see the world the way we did? <laughs> yeah. I and think they see the world the, <laughs> the way we do.
Doesn't there, mean oh, it's always normies? right. No, I know. Just like yeah, that's not a good sign, maybe. Yeah, you know. No, I actually I think know. it's, it's fine. Not terrible. I think acknowledging that quarterback's the most important position. Acknowledging that you need I do like high that. end receivers. And if they go acknowledging wide out next, that you need a left tackle. I like that. Acknowledging that there are certain positions in this game that are important. Acknowledging that you can't just coach them up. Acknowledging that you can't just make a coach from the other side of the ball your coach. <laughs> hey, like, football coach, a football coach, Andy. I don't know if you know this. No, I, I actually do know that, Bill. It was utterly <laughs> disrespectful to everyone that's ever coached any sport. No, that's true. So Mac Jones, uh, yeah, Why they don't want to. So do him dirty. Oh. I don't know. You got we hot. Have Drake May. Why are we angry? I blame ben. Uh, I'm not. I, I, now, I'm a little angry that now apparently I got to buy multiple jerseys. No, you don't. You're, you're over there on uh, Patriots.com telling me people are dumb enough to buy number one jerseys. I, I can't. I think you're misreading it. No, you're getting right, a pre-order for a Drake me, May jersey. Let me update everybody on a couple of things. One, the uh, seventh pick in the draft happened during the break. It was the Tennessee Titans taking J.C. Latham, the tackle out of Alabama. So Boo! Bad pick. Seven picks into you the draft. You stink, Rand Carthon. All offensive players thus far. Three quarterbacks, two wide receivers, two tackles. Oh, you mean it's an offensive league and an offensive game? Kind of huh. it is. And it's Who'd the thunk? Patriots' three biggest needs. So cross QB off. You got to assume in the next two picks, wide out, tackle, or tack out, uh, tackle, wide out, right? In some order. Yes. Just, so uh, I believe Arizona, or, uh, Atlanta's pick is in. Yes, so Atlanta's on the clock. And we will with, bring it to you. I think this is going to be the first defensive player off the board. Whether it's Byron Murphy. Turner. Turner or Latu. Latu got a lot of push late. Yeah. Well, I love. It's just a medical history thing. Yeah, that whole neck thing. It's I don't think the, I'd take him. I, I think it's Byron Murphy. If I had to guess, I think Byron Murphy. He's been getting a ton of steam late late this week. Uh, I, I think it might be Byron Murphy at eight, but we'll. I guess we'll find They're out. They're now showing the Michael Penix uh, home setup. He is not at the draft. He has a whole bunch of friends and family over for uh, his little draft party. So and a lady friend. On. And then, how about, yes, he does have a lady friend. Uh, also, according to Adam Schefter, in recent weeks... Both the Patriots and Vikings reached out to the Chargers to see if they had any interest in trading quarterback Justin Herbert. The answer was very quickly a flat no. So the Patriots and Vikings. I want don't know how that's going to happen. I Herbert. agree with Schefter not here, but when he said it can't happen, the hundred and twenty whatever million dollar dead cap hit would be prohibitive yeah. from them doing but that. Just uh, okay. and all the, the other issue is he's good. Yeah, but let's take the cap hit out of that. Like, that's the Chargers issue. The Patriots don't. Know Other all than your the that, how was the play, Mrs. Lincoln? No, no, you can't take the cap hit out of that. No, but like, what's way more of uh, interest to us is right before the draft, the Patriots inquired about Justin Herbert. Well, yeah, because Justin Herbert was better than any quarterback that was in this draft. Okay, but if you were going to get Justin Herbert, let's the say eighth the pick. Ah, hold on, the eighth pick. Twenty-four NFL draft. The Atlanta Falcons select Michael Penix Jr. What quarterback, Washington? What? J.J. McCarthy, my ass. What? No, let the record show. Wait I think it's an overdraft. Didn't they Penix. signed Kirk Cousins. Yes. Yeah, they did to a massive contract. <laughs> and then they took Penix at eight. So the, oh, they I know took we Penix at eight. Blown. I know we ripped Bill Belichick, and they didn't hire Bill Belichick. <laughs> what is Terry Fontenot doing? I, 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 I mean, why? That is. You signed Kirk Cousins timer. to a four-year deal. It wasn't uh, a one- or right. two-year deal. He's cool as a cucumber, and though, wearing those shades awesome. inside, yeah, isn't he? He's dope. He's, he's he guy can spin I like it. Penix, I like Penix, like... too. I thought maybe 18. Is... Maybe you draft him at 18. I don't know what the Falcons are doing. Not I don't eight. either. Would he just give out a boatload of cash for Kirk Cousins? If I'm Kirk Cousins, I would avoid my deal. I almost <laughs> fell out of my chair. <laughs> I did. That was wild. Like, why aren't I you am... giving me a receiver? I why are you floored? I am. I am. Thank God we went to that. Baffled. I was going to talk about uh, Herbert some more. That's the most interesting like pick. Byron Murphy. That's oh, great. Wild. That is insane. Nobody on in, nobody on the planet had Michael Penix going in the top ten and ahead of JJ McCarthy. No, yeah. there was one report of top half of the first round, like late last week. Yeah, but or like something. I expected, like 11, 12, 13 in that range. I was I, especially Vegas at thirteen. You know what this is right, good for? The trade that I talked about okay. earlier. If all these quarterbacks are gone, oh, yeah. it's easier pushes to trade up, down the board. pushes receivers down, and makes those picks less valuable. Oh, this is great. Yeah, you want Knicks to go? You want Chess, to go? You want all these guys to You're go? You're going to get some really talented corners, too, late yeah. in the first round. That's going to be a temporary this one. Is wild. Because this is insane. This pick is insanity. It's, the, it's where he was taken and by whom are both insane. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, Kirk Cousins is a veteran quarterback, but he's not 1,000 years old. He's not, you know... Aaron Rodgers. Where he just he got, signed like, a four-year right. deal. Like, they have a ready-made... The whole idea with this, the talking point was they are ready if you give them a quarterback. They have the talent around the quarterback they have, position. So here's so here's Why question. didn't they just take, like, Roma Dunze and add another stud or defensive player? What if... Or anybody. What, what <laughs> a if... A non-quarterback? What no. if they didn't do 
tests well enough prior to signing the contract with Cousins. They rushed into it. They're trying to avoid the... Come to find out his Achilles is not going to be ready, and they're going to try and void it out due to injury. And that's why they drafted Penix. Oh, that's ballsy. You this tamper is, this with is a, a guy. This is a total, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to lose a pick for tampering with well, him, too. It's a total uh, crackpot theory, but that's that just, I don't hate wild. it. I love how they're like, because I, I feel like some, right. you need something to explain this because I love how, it seems inexplicable. It, it, unbelievably Robert Kraft tells Arthur Blank, don't hire Belichick. He'll screw up your team. And then they go, <laughs> they're like, we're going to show you. We can screw up our team without Bill Belichick. That is, any hope you know you wanted, who I think he can't trust? Not Bill Belichick. Terry Fontenot. Like, any, any hope you wanted of the Patriots drafting Marvin Harrison and then trading back in for Michael Penix? Well. Would have been out the window. Yeah, so. that would have been. You're a good point. But that is Holy damn, wild. Michael Penix just went eight. in the top eight picks. Because there were some, uh, even not so that in long four ago, years if Kirk, 34th. Yeah, yeah. He was in like four years, when Kirk Cousins' contract is up, yeah, he's 28. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. His over under <laughs> on sports books was thirty two and a half. Yeah, right. First rounder or no, not? Made no it by this in the much. Holy mackerel! That, that is a wow. wild. That is I a love wild it. pick. I love it. And they, this is this is the chaos I wanted. Absolutely. Outside of the Patriots getting May, this yeah, no, is the kind of chaos I dream of in the NFL draft. And now the Bears are scrambling because somebody Every they didn't think was going to be on the board. So I light it on fire. Yeah. I light it on toast. fire. Because <laughs> there's a domino effect. Now you're wrong the whole rest of the way. Because yeah, oh, yeah. players that weren't supposed to be there are available. Oh, God. Guess what, Atlanta? Like, I what breathe. on earth? I think that Shimes, is, it, idiotic idea or, like, <laughs> conspiracy which, theory. Which theory? No, no, no. One. There has to be something there, some truth to something. You have to think outside of the box at this point. Like, why is outside this happening? The why would yep. you do this? Yeah, exactly. To vo- to As they show uh, Michael Penix's season-ending injuries at Indiana, which he had four. I'm sweating. Are you having another hot flash? I'm Torn? sweating. Well, I tried ACL. to turn the heat down. It doesn't go any further. Ah, oh, God. When Greg's in here, it's like an ice box. He, why dislocated, can't we get he had a dislocated shoulder, a dislocated elbow, and two torn ACLs. I actually do like Penix. I think Penix is going to be a better throw than McCarthy. Yeah, no, no. He's athletic. I don't really care about the knees. The shoulders a little more concerning. The knees, yeah. whatever. People tear the ACLs age, all the time. I don't care. The age, I don't I, care I know about. You hate this, but he in the like, 2024 Lenny. NFL Draft. Fast and furious. The Chicago Bears select Rome Odunze. That's the right pick. Whoa! Wide receiver. Holy Washington. smokes! So they have Rome Odunze, Keenan Allen, and DJ Moore. Yep. Yes. Well, Keenan Allen's on like a one year. It's like a rental. So, but for Caleb Williams, it's rookie the perfect year, guy for Romo Dunze. He has from. these three guys, and then Keenan Allen can go off into the sweet good night. Yep. And then you have a Dunze with Caleb Williams for their careers. Correct. Awesome. And Cole Komet. What? Don't forget who I Cole think is one of the most underrated tight ends in football. They got DeAndre Swift too, didn't they? From Philly. Uh, yeah. Yes, they so, did. Yeah, it's not bad. Correct. Yeah. Yep. I, this, the Bears are gonna be fun. This Bears team can, will compete for. They, I wouldn't be shocked. I want to see their odds to make the playoffs. They could be a wild card team. Like sure. they could be this year's Houston Texans for sure. Yeah, they have the talent. Or Caleb Williams could turn it over forty times. At, they must have been both are in, <laughs> James Winston style. Yes, both are in play. They must have been so pumped to see, <laughs> of all teams, to see Penix go eight. They were I like, need, "What? This guy eight? Like we have all these guys now to choose from that we didn't think we were gonna be." I there. need an Eagle style draft room video of somebody laughing super hard when Michael Penix got drafted by the Falcons oh, because yeah. it was like, oh, now we get exactly who that we is, want. That is crazy. So that's the big surprise so far wow. of the draft. Uh, but one thing that I, I really don't think is surprising is nine picks in all offensive players and crazy. all quarterbacks, wide receivers, or tackles. Yeah. <laughs> the three positions the Patriots needed going in and three positions that were pretty deep in this year's draft, right? It's not just a need. There seems to be the actual talent to yeah, go along with it. Yeah, we have a trade. It. The Minnesota- I just put his hand up in the air, by the way. Yeah, Minnesota we- Vikings have traded up to 10. I got to get J.J. McCarthy. Crap is hitting the wall. We got to get a quarterback. Wait, the Vikings traded 11 to 10? Yes. That I'm, according to, to make ESPN's, sure they can get J.J. McCarthy. This is on Twitter. Yeah. This is ESPN's draft tracker, so we're not uh, uh, getting anything leaked here. Because maybe okay. the Broncos could have been Or the Raiders. Specula- Raiders. You know, stuff just went wacky with quarterbacks. So yeah. they panicked. People start panicking, and I would too. Uh, you have to. You got to have a quarterback. Yep. You got to get. Your you guy. may regret this later, and you go, "Yeah, I really panicked. I wasn't ready for the pressure there." But uh, this is a good deal for them. Uh, I agree so. with uh, Gresh's head in the Twitch chat. Bears are killing it, but Arizona getting Harrison that is huge as well. For I sure. do like Arizona getting uh, Harrison a lot. And if they had a real quarterback, I'd be worried. They got a little guy running around making. Some <laughs> plays. I don't care about his size. Okay. Gresh about- calls him a Lilliputian. Yeah, I know he does. Really I, he also doesn't like Kyler Murray at he all. Hates I, I kind of like. What Kyler does Gresh Murray. like? 
Uh, There's a very short list of things. I saw him tweet at me. He likes Marvin Harrison, actually. Yeah. I was shocked. I was, he was a wide receiver. I was stunned he didn't like Drake May. Like, no, he doesn't. Tall pocket passer that could throw the ball over the yard seems right up his alley. Yeah, I don't. I guess not. I he loves Mac Jones. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, there you go. There's your answer. How could you love Mac Jones? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I never like, understood I anyone him who every loved day him. for like two years about that. Like you could have sold weird. me on the rookie year of. They won games. They made the playoffs. He did better what he than expected. To do, whatever. Right. But love him? Did you watch him play? No. There was nothing to love. No, nothing. No, I watched all of his games. But <laughs> me Drake, too. Drake I did post games for him. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> all right, let's uh, hear from you guys on this as well. 617 779 7937. I want to get back to the Patriots being interested in Herbert thing, but they do take Drake May at number three. We are flying in the draft nine picks in, and the Vikings have just moved up to 10. All offensive players thus far, and the big surprise being Michael Penix going eight to the Falcons, who just signed Kirk Cousins to a big free agent deal. So we're trying to make sense of all of it. Drake, all four of the May brothers experienced great success in their chosen college sports. How did the house you grew up in lead you to this stage tonight? Yeah, youngest of four boys. Um, yeah, the youngest one had to get get beaten up on and, and, and all of the above and uh, just try to you know, keep my head down, keep working, and end up paying off. You know, those three of my best friends and uh, just can't be thankful enough to be the youngest. Over the course of your lifetime, the Patriots built a dynasty in New England, but it's the beginning of a new era. Yeah. How will you help define that? Let's go. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to go compete. Uh, I'm ready to get in New England. Um, let's have a blast. We're going to win a lot of games and let's go. You're going to show up with that smile on your face. I know yeah, it. Always. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Drake. All right, there you go. A couple of things there. The most recent pick, number 10 overall, the Vikings, who moved up one spot with the Jets. They just took J.J. McCarthy, the Michigan quarterback. And uh, you also heard Drake May's walk-off interview after he was taken number three overall by the New England Patriots. So we are 10 picks into the first round. All offensive players, all quarterbacks, wide receivers, or offensive tackles. Uh, we have five quarterbacks in the first 10 picks. All so, gas, no breaks, baby. Half the quarter, half the picks are quarterbacks. And then my guy Bo Nix is going 12 to Denver. You can book that. Well, I don't know about 12 to Denver. I mean, you can book that he's going in the first round now. He might go to the Jets at 11. <laughs> I mean, I now <laughs> wonder. Aaron Rodgers may only last That's year. true. Could Spencer Rattler sneak into the first round here? I wouldn't oh, rule it nice. out. I don't Michael think Pratt. so, but yeah. I mean, Michael Pratt. Oh, the Tulane guy? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? I mean, there are there. some people that think Spencer Rattler is yep. one of the better quarterbacks in this draft. I mentioned this to Keith earlier. There yeah. was this crazy hype around Spencer yep. Rattler for like two weeks, and I didn't yep. get it. Well, there's that one random former scout, right, as, that was like he's the number one prospect. Right. And you're like, what the As heck? a former scout, that's how he starts every tweet. <laughs> I think Merrill Hodge is actually in Factor back. Of course he is. So yeah. he's out on Drake May, in on uh, um, Spencer Rattler? Yeah. No, okay. All right, let's go to the phones. Uh, you guys can weigh in. Plus, we're here. Bill Belichick. We played a Bill small Belichick. part of it, but Bill Belichick's full reaction to the Drake yeah. May pick. We'll play that coming up as well. But let's go to Chuck in New Hampshire on the Patriots taking Drake May. What do you got, Chuck? What's up, Chuck? Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, I called in last year. I love the love the draft night show and love it again this year. Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the pick. You know, I – I know we're uh, kind of fans of a bad team right now, so, you know, we kind of have those goggles on when we pick high and pick a quarterback. But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, the only way you can really have success is if you go for the quarterback. Bill Belichick said, you know, quarterbacks are 50-50 in the first round, so you got to keep taking a chance on them when the one is there for you or the one that you think is there. Uh, because there's not many teams that I think can really build a team first and then have a quarterback. Like, yeah, you look at Tom Brady at the beginning, maybe that was the case, but 15 out of the 20 years he was here, Tom Brady was the nucleus. And then you could get guys and you could go to the AFC championship game with, you know, all right receivers. Uh, and, you know, I think if you don't have a quarterback, the best, like the way you max out is, you look like the Tennessee Titans in 2019. You have a decent quarterback, an all right quarterback, but you ultimately end up losing. So I like it. They they chose a guy that they think is their guy. I mean, he has the measurables. He had success in college despite not having the craziest playmakers. I mean, Josh Downs was like his best receiver. I mean, that's not, right. you know, like Alabama or Georgia or those other schools. So, you know, I'm excited for it. You know, it's a uh, – I'll be a little more patient this time around, but I think I think we have a good mm. pick here. All right, very good, Chuck. I don't, I don't, can we hold ourselves to that? I'm not going to be patient. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, I don't want him to sit. 
I'm I'm playing week one guy. Uh, 100%. I, I don't need, I don't need him to sit. I don't think I don't think you can really break a quarterback. I feel like that gets brought up a lot. Like, oh, you ruin the quarterback. You only ruin the bad ones. Or are they just yeah. bad? Yeah. No, like, no, no. But the only one I can think of is maybe David Carr may have had a chance, but he was drafted to an expansion team. He got sacked more than any quarterback in the history of the league. Five times. Like he was two like years. so. That was that's the one I'll give you. Tavares Jackson. I always believe played too soon. Could I think have been Tavares better. Jackson could have been a star in this league, and they rushed him. Um, but I I withhold in the twenty twenty eleven to the Jets. Draft, the New York Jets select Olu Fashanu, tackle Penn State. Okay. The big hoss That's out of Penn good. State. Love that. So they got a, a lineman for Not Aaron Brock Rogers. Bowers. That's what we want. Let Brock Bowers fall. <laughs> Another tackle, okay. by the way. Yeah, no, that I, I mean a, that makes sense. Theme. There's a theme going on. And right it now. was it was funny. People were like off of Olu Fashanu. Uh, you and I talked about yep. offensive lineman forever ago, and he was number two for me. Like he was, and he was for a long period of time. I mean, even yeah. when college football was still going on, everybody's like Olu Fashanu is one of the best offensive Detroit, line prospects. A little bit of news for you tonight. You made some history tonight with a one-day <laughs> draft record of over 275,000 people in attendance ah! and climbing. Let's go! Thank you, Detroit. You're welcome. Wait, there's 200. Yeah, there's a ton of people there. Fourier and Gresh are somewhere Dave, walking about. They've blocked off like six streets. It's Why? too much. I wouldn't. It's much. You wouldn't catch me massive dead. Perimeter. I would. I would, I would not have done it in there. Nashville, but not in Detroit. Nashville would have been cool. As but soon as I found people. out there's two hundred thousand people, I'm out. No, that's I too many it. people. No, Fourier was on earlier, and he in was saying streets now, and stuff. He's like, there's way more people there than like Super Bowls. He's yeah, like, it's just it's so insane. Where'd they come from? All over. Yeah, he's still up Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They like planes, trains, and automobiles. I mean, there's I a lot know. of people in Michigan, isn't there? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just towards big city. Yeah, towards yeah, pretty big city. Good for them. Well, and right. good for the NFL, like taking this on the I road know, and the, making this thing. Circling back to your point about the patience. Yeah, I just want to see what he is on July 28th. Actually, June 15th or whenever our mini camp is. Then mm -hmm. July 28th, and you guys know I famously said in June. Mac Jones is starting. Like it was became quite obvious well, he was he, as good or better. I didn't. He kind of went as, back. And I forth. did. I think we might even have a yeah. cut of you being like he lost On the job. The he won the job. And if I see that, then absolutely <laughs> he plays. And if I see a guy that seems a little bit swimming upstream, a little bit overwhelmed, give Jacoby Brissett three or four starts. I'm fine with that. Guess what? You're picking in the top ten. Can't top be any five. more than that. No, no more than four. Okay, I, I stop it because I'm a week one guy. But like that, it's not. It's not but the end locking of the world. yourself into that, saying that like. Let me see what the conditions are, how it plays out. No, to Does me, he crap himself in his first preseason game when he gets in there and throw, like, a pick six? He would have to actually do that. Yeah. He would have to, like, physically Literally. defecate his pants yeah. for me What's to not his play him. <laughs> like, oh, no, we have a real problem, guys. Um, Vomit in the huddle. Like, like Stephen Willie Beeman. Yeah. But I, I, like, week two, Josh Allen. Week two, Justin Herbert. They never looked back. You yeah, know why? Right. right. Because they're the guy. They're him. Yeah. I know you hate that. I don't like that term, but I understand what you're saying. They are him. Yeah. Not Jesus, but franchise quarterback. Capital, capital H? Yeah, big him. Okay. Um, so if you hit the pick, if you judged him right, and by all accounts, and I was told they didn't wait too long to turn this card in. that this uh, Patriots? Right in. Yeah. Like, the Vikings kind of bowed out. The clear of the trade wasn't going to happen. Vikings are smart because they still got their guy. I wanted they wanted him, basically. They traded up one spot. But this was the Patriots guy all along. And if you nailed that, or then he'll it? be ready. Or was it? No, it was. Adam Schefter says they were calling the Chargers about Justin Herbert. Shouldn't you? Okay. So let's say. Because guess what? I don't so know about Drake May. I don't know if he can play in the NFL. I know Justin Herbert. Well, you can just play said in the he's NFL. always their guy. And no, then no, no. He's like, they I'm were not... trying to get Justin Herbert. It wasn't always their guy. But don't you check in on anything? Like you, like you know, Justin Herbert can throw for well, five thousand yards in the yes, national football. And now you're getting Justin Herbert. So my question is, yeah, you're gonna have different guys. Yeah, and just because you like Justin Herbert more than Drake May doesn't mean Drake May isn't your guy yeah, in the but draft. You, but you know, you're not getting Justin Herbert for free. No, so I, my point is, true. you call the Chargers and they're like, you know what? Let's pretend the salary cap thing isn't a problem. So they're sure. like, okay, they're we're like, just doing that again. Yeah. Well, no, but like the Patriots call, like they don't know every team's books, so they're like, hey, yeah, what about do. Justin Herbert? And they know like, exactly their. Then books. why'd they call him to see if he's available? But if, if they you're knew their willing, books, they know that he's not available. No, no, yeah, no. If just, you're dumb enough and willing to eat the me? hell out of that dead cat meat, 
What? <laughs> Gross. Um, Try that again. I, yeah. I, I started having like a C4 that. Or flashback <laughs> mid-sentence. Yikes. But if you're willing to do that, that's on you. That's Cut not my off. problem. All right, so let's say they bring in Justin Herbert and they're like, hey, it's going to cost like all these draft picks. Wait a minute. So the Patriots if, are going to do that? They're going to trade all their draft picks? If you picks love Herbert? A.D. Mitchell, does that mean you don't call about Brandon Ayuk? Don't you call both, weigh him, figure out what you want to do and where are you going to go? Yeah. Well, or you, you like, have to like one Calvin more than but that didn't work out, so yeah. you move on to the next person you like. Like, you keep all your... But you have to like Any, one more than I the other. I said it earlier. The Washington way is not... I think is dumb business. But if, if I'm AD, an owner and you tell me, yeah, the uh, the Chargers called. I saw that it was on the caller ID. I didn't answer. But Excuse if you, me? You're if fired. You, if you trade up to 24 and AD Mitchell's available, and then the Niners are like, hey, we'll take 24 for Brandon Ayuk, you have to like one more than the other, don't you? Right. You'll make a decision. Yeah, okay. Decision. So Herbert or Drake May... Because I feel like you're not, it's not just in a, va- like, obviously you'd rather have Herbert than Drake May. Yeah. But if it's. Oh, I don't know that either. Oh, well, I would. Because I have Drake I May would. on a rookie contract. Yeah. And there's a cost so analysis Robert there. obviously would rather that. Oh, yeah. cheap shot. Well, that's hey, the, he's not the theme cheap of the team shot. thus far, hasn't it? Who cheap they shot. He had a girlfriend that didn't want to play in the Northeast. <laughs> <laughs> he had a wife who <laughs> probably doesn't care if he you really pay him more. didn't burn that cash. Well, and then L.A. Wolf's like, no, nah, another team bid more. The, that's why we didn't get him. It was not about finance. It was. Straight Fun up nuts. cash. It was actually straight cash, homie. He likes the, tomatoes. The so, Denver pick is in. I can only imagine. Bo Nix, man. Bo Nicks. It's got it to be Bo Nix. So Bo-Nicks. now we're six of 12? Yeah, well, it's Bo Nix. It has to be. I said six in the first round. You can't round. afford to wait I now, said six in the first round like two months ago, and people were like, oh, I'll pump the brakes yeah, there, Yeah, you bud. said that to me earlier, I and I go, early. that's a great take. Huh? I don't think it's uh, done. I got to tell you, stories are going to be written and documentaries are going to be made one way or the other about this draft. 100%. The I don't know how it's working out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Six of the first twelve picks. If well, Knicks not, not, goes, offic- not officially yet, I'll but check Twitter. They, uh, I feel like it has to be. Bo right. Nix is not in attendance, but they do have a camera, just like Michael Penix. So they've already showed the Bo Nix family, literally the family. He's married, for God's sakes. You think so. they? Like, would you have had a camera on Michael Penix? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I just not that early. You and that's they had to way... scramble. You think the cameraman was just like laying around and then he's like, what you Get say? Up. You're coming to us? <laughs> this guy now? Seriously? You <laughs> said somewhere between 24 and 34. <laughs> I was reading all these mock drafts. There's no way in hell he's in the bathroom. Right now. What are they we had doing? wings. My hands are covered <laughs> in slop. I got to wash up. So, yeah, Michael Penix to the Atlanta Falcons at eight is definitely the story so far in the draft. Uh, Bears, Commanders, Patriots do what we all thought they were going to do. Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May. Arizona Cardinals took Marvin Harrison Jr. The Chargers took Joe Alt. Giants took Malik Neighbors at six. J.C. Latham, the offensive tackle, went to the Titans at seven. Then Michael Penix. Rome Adunze to the Chicago Bears, the wideout out of Washington. And then J.J. McCarthy went 10 to the Vikings. And somebody was asking, oh, here we go. Broncos pick. Big hat. The Denver Broncos select. Bo Nix. Yeah! This is, this is unbelievable. My guy, Bo. You deserve it, Bo. I, I'm starting. Hey, Dr. Bo Nix. This, is, college for six this years. is insane. Yeah. Now, six I will weeks. say, I do think you can make some comparisons to Drew Brees he and the is, short passing and accurate passing like and Brees. Sean Payton and all that. He's gonna I also it. will say, I feel bad for Broncos fans because they thought they had it with Russell Wilson. They didn't. No. They're going to think they have it with a first-round this quarterback guy's a gamer. in Bo Nix. They yeah, but didn't. they got Jared Stidham. This guy's a little gamer. He can spin it. <laughs> he can He's going to beat out Jared Stidham. I don't know. Is Jared Stidham even going to be the there? Oh, maybe you not. got Bo Nix. You got Zach Wilson. You oh, got, that's um, right. They got Zach Wilson They got the too. other guy, too. P.J. Nicardi. With him. What's that? Ben DiDushi. Ooh. Ben DiNucci? <laughs> ben DiNucci? No, Ben DiNucci. <laughs> Whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, they have like the worst quarterback room in the league. So they have Zach Wilson, and Ben DiNucci. They just took a guy in the top 12 picks nope. who should have gone in the top 40. Bo Nix. Maybe 50. Wow. Get this, it, Bo. Well, this, that's why I listen to that Marvin Harrison, Bo Nix dream. No chance. Bo Nix no, short is, passes. This draft is on drugs. I love it's it. It's crazy. I love it so much. I love but, everything about yeah. this. But the pressure on these guys, like I actually feel bad for Bo Nix and Michael Penix. You overdrafted them. That's on you, not them. Yeah. You took a talent that they're not in a spot where they shouldn't be. And yet the pressure that comes with that expectation is it's on them. Insane. That is not cool. But uh yeah, but he's also like, like, "Well, I was the sixth quarterback taken." Like, and he's want? like, "Did you see the money difference between 12 yeah. and 36? Pretty amazing." So, so good for them. Yeah. But you got a lot of pressure. You better uh you better come in ready to go. Now, well, Penix, right. I have no idea whether you need to be ready to go today or four years from now. I don't now. know how that works either. Also interesting, of, of the six quarterbacks to go, four go to the NFC, and then the two in the AFC, Bo Nix to Denver and Drake May to the Patriots. We'll hear from Bill Belichick, his wow. thoughts on Drake May in a moment. But let's go to uh, Eric. He joins us next year on the phones. What do you got, Eric? 
Yeah, hey guys, I love the uh, I love the show. It's great to hear you guys Thank working you. together. Um, I I'm really favorable on the Drake May uh, pick. Um, we needed to get a, a a top flight quarterback. I think he's capable of that. Um, I really though do believe he should be eased into it. Week eight, week nine, week ten. Uh, unless we're doing something crazy and Jacoby Brissett is, is playing out of his mind, uh, that's that's when I would like to see him hit the field so he can get maybe five or six games or seven games under his belt before next year. And then we can go into next year really rolling with uh, a feel for the uh, speed of the NFL game, um, the chance to continue to upgrade our weaponry if, if Mr. Elliott will uh, spend that cash. So I'm happy with the pick. Um, I don't know if he's going to be the best or the third best of the of the quarterbacks taken of, of the top three, but he certainly, everybody has said, and from what I've watched, and I watch a lot of college football because yeah. I have no life. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I, I'm, I'm watching the Love Mac it. at 11 a.m. I'm watching the, the, the Big West at 11 p.m. Um, You're welcome. But uh, – but uh, you know he's got he's got the skill set. He we have a guy unlike Mac Jones who has an arm. Uh, I think that yep, makes true. a huge that difference helps. in the NFL. Yep. yep. Um, he has the ability to run. Um, I don't think we need to throw out the the complete Josh Allen comparables and Justin Herberts yet. We need to see get his footwork cleaned up a little bit and some of his loose mechanics. But I think it's all right there for the taking and maybe. In two or three years, we are saying he's the most complete quarterback of the ones taken because he has the size, and then we put together the coaching to, to get him there. So I'll hang up and listen, but I really enjoy the show. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing about the poor house tomorrow uh, yes. in the morning. And, All right, uh, Eric. Thanks for the phone call. Las Appreciate Vegas it. Raiders select Brock Bowers. Tight end, wow. Georgia. The offensive players just keep on coming. There's yeah. been 13 picks, 13 offensive players. The first non-quarterback wideout tackle, but it's still a pass catcher. Uh, tight end Brock Bowers out of Georgia goes to the Raiders. It's they it's making, a quarterback, but no, it's making. But they're it, all gone. What are they going to do? Imagine picking at 13. Spencer Rattler. You're picking at 13, and the top six quarterbacks are off the board. And by the way, that's the first time that's ever happened. Yes. It is also making it. Might be it, the last, depending on how it plays out. It's also going to make it exceedingly more difficult now, though, for the Patriots to trade back into the first round and get a receiver because more offensive players just keep coming off the board. Oh, yeah. I don't flying. know. I don't know. We have we still have a room for a little bit of a run on tackles. Yeah. We still have that second tier of wide All receivers. Those it's just and then you wide start outs. mixing yeah. in the corners, the edge guys. At some point, people are going to say, "Well, the best player on the board plays defense. I'm taking the best player on the board." Kind of thing. I, I'm, I am still optimistic. I depending mean, Raiders, on who you like, the Raiders desperately they have Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, and they just drafted Michael Mayer like last year. Yeah. they desperately needed a corner, and instead they went with Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers, yeah. so they get too good to pass up. Yeah, now, if you believe his Please. proponents that he was like a top six, top eight prospect, you go best player available, and they got him at what 14, 13, whatever they yeah, are. I would, take, I would have taken 13. either of the top two corners over. Saints Brock are Bowers. on the clock now. Let's go back. I mentioned this before, but we played a little bit of it. Uh, Bill Belichick. Reacting to the Drake May pick. Here's more of Bill. Well, again, a, a very talented kid, uh, good size, runs well, has a good arm. Um, just he hasn't played very much. He, he really is doesn't have a lot of experience. And he makes some big plays like this. This is an amazing play where he kind of throws going backwards, puts the ball right on the money. Whoa. And those are the highlight plays that, that you really like from May. Um, you know, this is one where he, he just doesn't really finish the play. You know, he's he's got... You know, double coverage here on the slot receiver. He's got guys open inside and outside of the, and just throws it into double coverage. So, uh, again, he's going to need some work in reading defenses, reading coverages. Uh, he comes with reps. You know, kinda, he's quick to come off the receiver here. If he frees it right there, Foxy, uh, just back a little bit. Out of bay, Foxy. Hey. Well, Foxy. Go on, you know, Fox. Like right here in the middle, like this. Play. Bit, just a little bit right Burr. there. Like, that's as open as they're going to get in the NFL, but yep. I'm just yep, telling you, close. like, they're not going to get open by, like, eight yards in the NFL, so just you've got to deliver it in there. He's kind of quick to bail out of the pocket, and, you know, he's going to have to hang in there a little bit longer, I think, and find those receivers. Uh, this is a really good throw here he makes. Uh, this is, you know, the in cut here. He really drives the ball. That's a nice. That's a nice play. <laughs> Uh, this is a kid that can make all the throws. Uh, he just needs to be more consistent. Um, here's another one where he's, you know, 
should just stay in the pocket. He doesn't have any pressure. Just stay in the pocket and, you know, read, take his reads and scrambles out early. Then he throws the ball late and it almost gets it picked off. So transitioning from a college quarterback to a pro quarterback here is, you know, he just needs some time and experience. Here's a late throw over here. Wiggins picks it off. Oh, uh, have it. Oh, that's going to happen. Oh, that's gonna gonna happen. Yeah, that's oh. going to happen. That's going to happen. Sir. Route was supposed to come back to the quarterback, I heard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, again, kind of open receivers down here. Just got to, we got to hit them. And again, kind of, I'd say too quick to mm. scramble and get out of the pocket. Of, of all the quarterbacks, he was the lowest rated in the pocket thrower. Oh. And, but you can see right here, right. he can definitely do it. That's a good throw against cover two uh, on that corner route behind the, uh, behind the corner. So, Freak athlete. Led yeah. UNC in rushing two years ago. Boom. All right, that was uh, Belichick on with McAfee. So... Fair to say, Belichick doesn't love Drake May. No. Yeah, certainly the tone. Yeah, did yeah. he say fella or guy? Like you got to complete that guy or something like he, that. It was like a was... dismissive tone to the whole thing. Yeah. Now, I will say, you drafted Mac Jones, oh, no, who played I... less than Drake May, who was less good at his position, say, in like, my opinion. Yeah. Like Drake May played two full years as a starter, years, didn't he? A, two a full years ball? as a starter. Right. That's plenty. Two full years as a he had. 200 plus more attempts than Mac Jones. He had 2,000 yards more passing over his final two yeah, but years. The Mac Jones year was the COVID year, Andy. You got to remember that. And, yeah, and I would argue, games, didn't they? Like Mac Jones Bale had played yeah. plenty of games. Yeah. Oh, and they played yeah. games in front of nobody. Yeah, in front of nobody. And he had the best so offensive throws. coach. And a guy that looked like me at linebacker for Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> but he had the best offensive coach in college football in Steve Sarkeesian. Yeah. He was. Sark. He had one of the best years I've ever seen a coordinator, play caller, college guy have. I mean, his receiver he had great talent. talent. Yeah. So he didn't have to scramble. He had a first round line to first round receivers with yeah. a first round coach. So no, I'm not saying Bill, Bill's you white. I'm just saying he's down on him. That's all I'm saying. But he's way better than the guy you took at 15. Oh hell yeah, he's oh, way yeah. better. So Bill, infinitely. Now, Bill, if you want to tell me off the record, and I won't say anything, you didn't want Mac Jones. That wasn't your pick. We can play a whole soap opera yeah. game that has already started mudslinging, and feel free to but call into the show. He could also he could also be trashing this pick because it's the Patriots that made the pick, and he's oh, pissed about it because being the Robert Kraft said Both I wouldn't trust out. this guy. Don't give him the job. Yeah. Real quick, if. Bill Belichick was still the head coach slash GM. Are they taking Drake May at three? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Based on what he just said? Yeah, I yeah. think that's fake. Okay. All right. Like his hair. I thought his hair looked a little bit. You got fake hair now? I don't what know. The hell? Either that or the McAfee show has a very good Actually, like, makeup Actually, seeing what the, uh, the Falcons did, maybe he would have taken Penix at three. Might, dude, Penix? Penix, eight. That is so far the story of the draft. Although, my guy, Bo Nix, 12. Quote from uh, a guy in the Atlanta front office said, quote, he's a star. And wow. quote about Michael Penix. And he might be. He, he might be. He's, he's the best Kirk thrower Cousins. of the football. Yeah, that's the part that doesn't really... It makes no. no sense. And it's not like you didn't think you could get Michael Penix. You know what I mean? I mean? Like He you, was going to be there. He was always going to be there. <laughs> yeah. And, so you didn't like have to sign Kirk you Cousins. You weren't competing with anybody 100%. Else. Right. You knew you could get him at 8. They could have got him at 43, maybe. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, they might have they been able have to. traded down from eight and got it later in the first round. All right, yeah. we are 13 picks into the draft. It. We will uh, keep you up to date on all the picks. But uh, talking to Drake May as the Patriots make the selection at number three overall. And as Keith Hart and Shine Fitzy on the way. He will get smacked and just get right back up. Right. And that's like, that's the same trait. You know, you had a guy like Tom Brady, not saying that he's Tom, but just that mentality. Same thing with Joe Burrow. Like those guys just keep getting back up. And continue to play at a high level, and that was like that aha moment for me. Presented by. All right, there you go. You heard it from Gerard Mayo, Patriots head coach, comparing Drake May to Tom Brady and Joe Burrow. Oh, I like God. it. <laughs> Mix in a little Josh Allen <laughs> and a little John Elway, that is and we're there. Andy yeah. Hart porn. He's like a cosmic gumbo. He's a mix <laughs> yeah. between Joe Burrow I see and Tom it. Brady. I see it. I yeah. like it. I don't actually like the comment. The yeah, don't mention those guys. Because the one thing that Amazing. more often than not, Mac Jones did. You remember when um, the he Cowboys broke him in half on the, in his rookie year, and he got back up like he got. Yeah, then he got carried off the field bent. crying like a baby. Wow. See, you know what? That no, happened. he actually one did time it. shine. Like, yeah, he don't cry like a he child. He didn't cry till he got to the tunnel where he didn't know there were going to be cameras. Yeah, yeah. don't cry he at actually, all. You coward. So you wouldn't take Caleb Williams. No, that's a different kind of crying. Oh, that wasn't an injury. Crying. Coward. <laughs> Emotional crying is much different than actual True, physical it, pain. It shows crying. you have a, a soul. Yeah, like right? clearly, Mac pain Jones tolerance versus being an emotional, Mac, in touch with your emotions kind exactly. of guy. Exactly. Mac yeah. Jones clearly never watched Roadhouse. Pain don't hurt. That's a good point. It's a great point. Pain buddy. don't hurt. Roadhouse. Shout out Patrick Swayze. You never seen Roadhouse? No, I have. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I don't quote it. Oh. You should. 
Mix in a couple it's, of quotes. How's the new one? Double, it's horrible. Yeah, it's really? yeah I saw that. Because yeah. that line on the commercial where he's like, do you have insurance, kind of makes me laugh. Uh, no, that was like the best line. That, oh, okay. was, like, that was the best part of the whole movie, So probably. that's the, uh, that's do it. you bleed? You <laughs> will. Yeah, that was pretty much it. <laughs> I watched three hours of freaking Superman and Batman fight. I get one effing line <laughs> out of a movie. It's not great. So yeah, we, are four, great line, we are 14 picks into the NFL draft. All offensive players. Right there. That picture they're putting on ESPN right now of Troy Fatanu. Yeah. That's what I want my lineman to look like. He's massive. Yeah. He's got tattoos. He's got a lay around his neck. He looks like he's a yeah. nice fella who's going to kick your ass. He looks like he's in the bloodline, so too. With the, I with got in the trouble on lace. TV once for saying I like Samoans as linemen, and people were like, you can't say that. That's racist. I was like, oh, well. Well, okay. I mean, okay. Penny Sewell's freaking awesome. I want Penny Sewell. Yeah, they're Penny badasses. Great. Yeah, they so, even Danny Shelton, the jag that they got, oh, so, like, he was, was first kind round of a pick, badass. Right? Was he first round yes. Pick? Was, uh, wasn't uh, Silver Salinga, too? Yes. He yeah. put in See, some work, too. where I am. <laughs> he I got put in some work. We're all going to get fired together now. Sick. <laughs> Not me. I didn't say anything to do with that, and I actually I, I reject everything these guys have said. <laughs> Six quarterbacks have gone, only three receivers, a tight end, and then what are we now at? Four offensive tackles. So that... Is the first 14 picks. The Colts are on the clock at 15. And there is a lot of uh, scuttlebutt started this afternoon. Mayo even mentioned it right before the draft started. Patriots may very well trade up uh, from 34 and get back into this first round. And so, so six quarterbacks going certainly pushes a couple of more good players down the board. Uh, but as of this point, it's only been offensive players. And as a Patriots fan, I only want them to take offensive players for at least the first three picks. But also at some point, you're like, the best defensive player is sitting out there. Yeah, it's going to be super value. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Although I don't. Is there, is there a game-changing defensive player in this draft, though? I'm not. Like, I like some defensive players. But given the needs, not. You know, there's nobody that I think is Micah Parsons going to come in no. right away and be a defensive player of the year candidate and change my defense, change yeah. the game. So I would be hesitant to go the defensive route. I given don't know. Mitchell is pretty good. He's pretty good. Would uh, you guys I also, rather... by the way, have a number one corner. True. So that affects my but having two value. top corners is really important. Yeah, but not as important as I don't have a receiver and I don't have a tackle. You know what I mean? Like, I got to balance no, all that I, out. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Get I'm that. taking, even if the receivers go the next six picks, like, I'll still take a receiver yeah. with, with the next pick. <laughs> yeah, but, but you don't count. I don't. I take a receiver <laughs> the whole time. I want a Marvin Harrison, for God's sakes. But uh, if you're picking defensive players and as if they keep getting pushed down for the Patriots, would you go best? With the 15th oh, pick hold that in thought. the 2024 NFL draft, Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas. the Indianapolis Colts select Layatu. Law two. There's your first defensive man, player. UCLA. There you go. First defensive player off the board. Edge rusher from UCLA. So he goes 15 to the Colts. Awesome player. Bad neck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was basically medically, medically retired. retired. He's also like, isn't he older than Bo Nix? Nobody talks about his age. <laughs> he is yeah, a little older. I don't know if he's older than him, but he's close. That doesn't concern me as much. No, he's medically 20, retired. He's 23. He's 23? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those other guys. Oh, they're 24. Jesus, yeah. you can't please any. Where's the sweet spot? Bill says that May is too Bonics young and too inexperienced. These guys are too. So what do you have to be exactly twenty two to be a good player? Penix is still twenty three. I'd rather younger. If I'm considering yeah. Well, yeah. you for a pick, well, he's and you're draft, young, so that's good. Isn't that good? Yes, because I presume you're going to get better, especially at receiver. Because I think a lot of statistical data shows that when you break out at a younger age, you will succeed far more often in Honestly, the NFL. In the you NFL, swallow a computer in the NFL draft. Anywhere, Excuse me in the front office. <laughs> anywhere between 21 and 24, I feel like you're fine. Right when you're I like, I feel like if you're 12 and I think you're good enough to be in the NFL, I'm taking you because I'm like, imagine how good be, he's going to be at no, 21. There's got to be some sort of workforce laws. You wouldn't be able to well, practice sure there the is. kid that much. You go to your guidance counselor. You get yeah. a work permit. Get a waiver. I got to have you back to home before nine. Like, like Chris, things. like Chris Wanky and Brandon Whedon were like 28, weren't they? Like those yes, guys were on the other end of it. Like these guys all in this draft are, are fine. But we are almost at the halfway point of the first round. When uh, do we start talking about the Patriots again? I know you Next. brought up the trade up, but when no, when <laughs> do we legit, 21 21 oh, 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 oh. Yeah. we start to say okay, they're in range. Yeah, let's yeah. get out of the teens okay. and then I think in in, in the 20s cuz they're at 34. So you figure 34 and cuz we've all said we would prefer to trade 34 and move up. We're not even considering trading next year's one. No. no. Okay. You've got to hang on to that. Cuz if you had balls, well, if you want I don't Brian know if I can Thomas, say that. if you want Brian Thomas, <laughs> I would do it right now. So, but my question is, if you really had confidence in yourself and you're really looking to turn this thing around quick, 
There's no saying Do you it. can't trade next year's one, get a quarterback, a wide receiver, and a tackle at 34. You have three of the top 34 picks, and you go, remember on your morning show? Not your morning show, Greg. Morning Don't show. get offended. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> on the morning show you appear on, yep. Gerard Mayo <laughs> guaranteed they'd win more games. So if you want to go all in on that, if you walk away from this draft with Drake May, Brian Thomas, and insert offensive tackle at 34 Paul, here. the Haas from Houston. I am going to lose my Myron nuts. Be my, I'll bring back the Not puppet gif. That's, what, yeah. that's how good yeah. it'll be. But you've got to well, be confident in yourself. But, and but, you may also just get a red jacket so for in, Elliot Wolf. I'm so into that, by but the way. But if, ne- if you trade next year's one, yeah. you got to do it right now because pretty soon it's not going to be worth it. Because the next pick is 16. Next year's one is going to be top 10 easy. Hmm, is it? Yes. What if they're really good? Tell C.J. Stroud next year's one is going to be a top five pick. Ooh, don't tell him the odds. A lot of animal, NFL analysts who would say that the Patriots situation for rookie quarterback, if it's not the worst, is one of the worst. How do you feel about the situation that you're going into here? Uh, I think I think they're wrong. I think you know they had a, that defense last year. You know had a lot of teams, the low points, and um, you know looking forward to helping anyway in the offense, offensively, and uh, just looking forward to to being there, Coach Mayo, in his first year. Um, congrats to him. And uh, you know I think anybody who's saying that, uh, I think you know, hopefully you know we'll find out we'll find out this coming this season. Just gonna you know, work hard with the guys and um, you know prove them wrong. All right, back here in the all-night draft party, WEEI, Keith Hart, and Shime. That was Drake May answering some of the questions from the Patriots reporters. And uh, it's, listen, it's his first go at it, right, getting interviewed it's by. Not inspiring. Wasn't no, great. No, but he's also not. He defended the offense by bringing up the defense. Correct. <laughs> and he also said that they proved people wrong. But you know so what? I good. actually respect the answer. Oh, because interesting. Last time we heard from Elliot Wolf, and I thought Elliot Wolf did a good job overall at his last press conference. But one of the things when he was like hammering, like we don't really have needs, and we have NFL receivers. I'm like, all right, mm. like yeah, they're in the NFL. But Drake May didn't try to put a spin on the players, did he? He didn't say like these are good, these are good receivers. He didn't bring up any receivers' names. Mm-hmm. He was just like, no, it's not that bad of a spot because he doesn't know them. He doesn't. He probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, he might want to take a peek at the depth chart with the top couple of teams. He Think knew Bailey's he was probably going to one of these out. teams. No, but the uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think Bailey Zerbe's reaching out. Maybe Percet did, but he brought up the defense. He's right. Like we pick in the twenty twenty four NFL Seattle draft. Seattle Seahawks. Yep. The Seattle Seahawks select Byron Murphy. Oh yeah, defensive tackle, Texas. Oh, we got a real defensive run going after the first fourteen picks were offensive players. We now have back-to-back defensive players, but the wide receiver that all three of us like, Brian Thomas from LSU, still on the board. I think he's in the green room too. I think he went to the draft. Oh, we uh, we have another trade. Oh, oh, a trade! It looks like Minnesota is trading up from twenty-three to seventeen with Jacksonville. Perfect. And they should, because they acquired They're going to get Quinion Mitchell. But they acquired that pick to trade up. They didn't have to trade up to get their quarterback. Nope. So we still have the pick. We have money to burn, right? Oh, like we're yeah. going on a shopping spree, yeah. baby. So we think, like we were saying before, right? As soon as they get into the 20s, we can start to maybe Take think pass. the pass move up, right? Yeah, I, I think I think even, I think 19 where the Rams are would be in play. I think 22 where the Eagles are would be in play. If, like, if Brian Thomas is there at either of those spots... I mean, I would, Elliot. I would send Elliot. it. Elliot. Send it in. Make the call. You know what we should also have? What's that? Doesn't E.T. say Elliot? <laughs> we should have yeah, Elliot. He does. He does. He we does. should have sure that somewhere. Yeah. All right, let's get that. We're right, referring yeah. that. Yep. Stat. <laughs> right, yeah, Elliot. We're on that. I uh, think we got enough producers here. Yeah, all right. Uh, very good. Uh, but, yeah, so Drake May, I mean, what do you want him to say? Because it probably, as of this moment, is the worst place to get dropped into for a quarterback. I mean, the last quarterback, now none of us think he's a great quarterback, but horrible spot for him. He flamed out. Is Washington a good spot to get be dropped in as a quarterback? Uh, so they still have Terry McLaurin, right? So you automatically better, better than re- anything you have. You have a better receiver to throw to than anybody else. Sure. Who is their... Uh, Cliff Kingsbury is their coordinator, so you're definitely better. Is he? Kingsbury is Cliff, versus uh, Van Pelt. Yes. Sean Kingsbury, Absolutely. Sean, take a lap. Get Absolutely. Out of that. Time out. Cliff when Kingsbury it, is an offensive coordinator. When has Cliff Kingsbury been good? Uh, he ish. got the Cardinals to the playoffs. Uh, ish? Okay, once. Can and I get an ish? He when, was I bad mean, at Texas Tech. He was bad every other year. His offenses were never bad. His right. offenses were Were they? Bad. No, his were offenses they? weren't. No, I don't know, The man. defenses were like ranked 118 yeah. out Everybody of 117. Everybody knows how to defend the air raid now. Like, it's not like a new thing anymore. And so you part of the reason have... Caleb Williams sucked Hold this year? Hold on. You would rather... Stop that. That's out of control. You would rather have Van Pelt than Cliff Kingsbury? 
right now, you're high on drugs and alcohol. Okay, this is where you're people drugs and alcohol. Listen, no, this is, you haters saying, O'Shine. You, no, this is Shine. He's no, no, passionate no. and he's all in. Not, when he was anti Mac, he was all in negative. Sure. Now he got his boy Drake May. Suddenly, Alex Van Pelt is this experienced. No, great like, we know Dan Shime Quinn is all sucks, in on the Patriots, and he's their head coach. We know he sucks. Dan Quinn sucks. I'll At give you least that. Here, the coaching staff is I still a relative. I believe they unknown. hired Dan Quinn. Yeah. That was outrageous with all the guys that got hired. So down. The 17th pick These picks are too to the fast. Minnesota Vikings. They knew what they wanted. With the 17th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Dallas Turner. Ooh, they went edge instead of corner. Alabama. Ooh. Interesting. Defense, defense, defense. Throw a little mini defensive Interesting. run. Interesting. Yeah, because they just lost uh, Hunter, right? Uh, yeah, Daniel, Daniel Hunter, Hunter yeah. went to Houston. Correct. The best looking arms in the national. But did, they, oh, yeah. did they not sign Jonathan Grenard? I think they did. Oh, okay. I think they got they a did. couple of guys from the pass rush. Having pass rushers be. in a Brian Flores defense is never a bad thing. So, or in any defense. Okay. No, fair. but certainly back. Take no, but Shime, I'm not. This isn't a anti Drake May. Oh, he's take mad. At all. I know it's not. If anything, if Drake May plays well, I'll give him even more credit for playing well than if Jaden Daniels plays well because I think he has a better offensive coach for him. So I did want to bring that up, and it actually hit me this weekend. I don't know where I read it. Peyton Manning was talking about, and this is a jumping-off point, Tom Brady. The one thing he always said was how fortunate he was to play in the same system for the entirety of his career. Some of the coordinators changed, but for him, nothing changed. It was mm-hmm. the same playbook, the same terminology. You don't think Adam Gase completely revolutionized Peyton Manning's right. game? And Peyton Manning was talking about Tom Moore and I think we often undersell. I know it gets talked about how the damage can be done with coordinator changes, coaching changes, but that's a massive part of this. This Alex Van Pelt, who he is, what he does, Ben McAdoo, mix him in for whatever his role, that might be as important as the receivers, as the left tackle, as anything to whether Drake May has a shot. Does he have a shot to develop? Because Josh Allen got Brian Dable at the critical juncture in his career. Mm -hmm. Brian Dable did the job. Now, once you're made, now you figure it out. You you up, you're down. Ken Dorsey's good. Oh, Ken Dorsey sucks. Bring somebody else in. And I would make the argument that we don't know exactly what Alex Van Pelt is. We know exactly what Cliff Kingsbury is. Yes, far more accomplished than Alex Van Pelt. No, how? Alex Van Pelt was passed over for jobs for about a decade and a half. Oh, easy. In a sure. league where offensive coaches get yes. promoted, and Cliff Kingsbury easily w- w- made so many mistakes and ended up uh, in such a bad situation that he went to Thailand for like six months. They had to find him. Oh, he wanted to kind of recharge the batteries a little. <laughs> he was yeah, looking for time. Ricky Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I, no, look, I, I, just, I appreciate your your uh, open mindedness with yeah. Alex Van Pelt, but I think the situations. Just the reality of the way coaches that are offensive are promoted and a guy who's supposedly kind of a QB guru, a guy who's supposedly just an offensive mind from player straight through the whole way, for him to kind of be a journeyman, journeyman yeah, assistant coach. Yeah, something for that. Like, and real quick on Kingsbury, just gotta, I'm the defender of Cliff Kingsbury. So he took over a three-win team. He won five games his first year, eight games his second year, 11 games his third year, and made the playoffs. 14 the next year. And then it's no, nope. much less. But but Murray was hurt for a bunch of those games, and the wheels fell off, and then they canned him. So like that, he, he had four years there. And I just think his offense, like when you go back to Texas Tech or anything he did in college, the offenses were always insane. It was the defenses which were comically bad. He's kind of like Lincoln Riley. Or Lincoln Riley's kind of like him. So I think... I would I would take a chance with him and with Jaden Daniels, and also like I said, maybe even more importantly, Terry McLaurin, like a guy you can throw to, and uh, Jahan Dotson is decent, right? He's, I would say he's better than who the Patriots have. Yeah, I I think the Patriots, depending on what they do, who they draft, if we can talk ourselves into at some point in the next hour and a half getting a potential number one receiver, mm-hmm. that could change how we view these things. I know Mike Reese had the little uh, nugget that was very vague this morning in one of his tweets about like. K.J. Osborne has made an impression. Wait, what does that, what does that mean? mean? Does that mean he benches a lot? Does that mean he shows up to work? Is he a chi- does he I mean, because like, by all accounts, I, I have no idea what it means. Yeah. Kendrick Bourne seems like a great guy, like a great yeah. teammate, great awesome guy. guy. Like, and he's a decent player. He's a decent player. He's fine. But decent players, no. That's not more. enough. They need 
They need the Reggie Jackson. They need the straw that stirs the drink. Because I think some of the rest of the cocktail is there. I like Hunter Henry. Reggie I think Jackson? He was the straw that stirred the Yankees drink. Got it. Famously. Jeez, you bring up anything that wasn't five minutes ago. We don't know who Bill Bird is. We don't but know who Reggie all, Jackson that, is. I, it's I, a baseball reference from the 70s. Sorry, I'm <laughs> diverse. I was about to ask what decade that not, was from. Yeah, not, well before I was Not born. football. You ever hear of Babe Ruth? <laughs> Mm, yeah, I heard of Babe Ruth. Yeah, is he the ba- he's the Babe Ruth. You ever hear of uh, Fran Tarkenton? Kirsten you ever heard of Bambino? Old Hoss Radburn? <laughs> Actually, no. 60 consecutive complete games. I was a big fan of Sonny Jurgensen. <laughs> yeah, my Jurgensen, <laughs> oh, Sonny. Oh, that's not appropriate um, at all. That's not nice. What was I saying? Oh, uh, just about Van Pelt. Like, I think that's one of the yeah, things. Like, like, this whole process, I was like, all these quarterbacks. No, uh, so we came back with Drake May trying to say it's not the worst place for a young quarterback. And no and place is that bad. That's where I'll go to. If he's Drake May, he has confidence in who he is, Drake yeah. May. I still go back to that combine line, why teams should draft me, Yeah, because you want a game plan with me, not against me. Oh, I like it. It's a great line. To me, that's a, a t-shirt. That's a drop the mic. <laughs> I don't know if it's BS. Yeah. I don't know if he can live up to that it. That sounds like Johnny Gomes. <laughs> you yeah, but, I want to go to war with me, not but, against huh? Drake. Yeah, but don't hold that against Drake May. I'm not. I'm just saying I, I like swagger. I like cocksuredness. Same. What? But I just think of all the teams, like, I think it's a word. If you had to rank the two. teams, like, <laughs> hey, take a quarterback, throw him on a team, how's that situation for you? Out of the 32 teams, it's at what, 30, 31, or 32? Sure. Now, yeah. he can be the reason why things change because, like, two years ago, I would have said the same thing about, or a year ago, about Houston. Absolutely. Yeah. That's like, my good example. Good luck, Stroud. But I also said the same thing with Bryce Young. Last year, the top two picks, it was literally good luck, fellas. One guy sank, one guy swam. This year, very different. Chicago has the first pick. They've just been loading up around Caleb Williams. So he has yeah. three legitimate receivers day one. Minnesota oh, Houston is, also is the a comparison. Situation. Houston, right, that's what you're hoping for. Who are you excited to play with on the Houston offense last year? Nobody. Okay. And then they were good, correct? Yeah, they were great. Now, Tank Dell played a role in that. No, they had guys that ended up being pretty good. Like Tank Dell was uh, part of the class. Was way Collins better than people expected. Well, he had the breakout year. Yeah. And I'm going to attribute some of that to C.J. Stroud. A hundred percent. So C.J. Stroud was not the quarterback last year, Nico Collins doesn't have the season he <laughs> no. had. If he I'm, had never had 500 yards in a season in his career. Didn't Josh Downs catch like 100 balls from Drake May? Or some, a high so. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Two years ago? Yeah. yeah. So let's just say Demario Douglas catches 110 balls this year. Are you looking at things a little differently? You didn't know you had a job by Drake May. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's the reality of that position is it changes everything. I've mm. been beating this freaking dead horse forever now. And people don't want to accept it, but also pay attention. How did the draft just go? I'm paying attention. But all, all offense, offense and then three straight defenses. And six quarterbacks went in the top 12 picks. Correct. First time ever. About half of them should have, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> and Fair enough. That's the way it works. The, the overpaying for quarterbacks is worth the risk because if you get the reward, it's massive. It's yeah. exponential. Our, it's a dollar to buy the scratch ticket that you might win a, a, a million. million. All right. right. Just from Do you those... feel like you're out a dollar? Nope. No. I'll give you another dollar in a year. <laughs> Just from those teams that took quarterbacks, who where who is the worst spot to go to if you're if you're just the QB? Denver. Chicago, Washington, New England, New York, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh blah, blah, blah. Atlanta Falcons, Minnesota Vikings, Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos. The worst. I mean, I don't like Sean Payton, but at least you have an offensive coach. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, how did that Sutton? work out last year? Cortland Sutton you still got. Actually, Russell Wilson well, didn't Wilson have a terrible good. year. He had a, he had a good Wilson year. They got all fine. strange at the end because they like wanted to mess around with this contract. But, right. I don't know. I don't think Denver's now, the worst. I think you can argue the Patriots are the worst. It's yeah. The reality is, I still remember the night they announced Alex Van Pelt. It, yeah. That was not their first choice or their second choice or their third choice or their fourth choice Keep or their going. fifth choice or Keep their going. sixth choice Keep or going. their seventh choice or their eighth Keep choice going. or their ninth choice or their tenth choice hey, LeBron, or their eleventh Keep choice. Going. <laughs> he may have been their twelfth choice. Yeah, I think, you know, to go back to, to Bill, I don't think many rookies are ready to just jump in and play. And look, at the end of the day, our philosophy is the best players will play. And, you know, coming in as a rookie, hopefully he be, he's a sponge. There are a lot of good players in that locker room. And, and look, Jacoby – he understands. Like he's a mentor. He's very smart. Has great leadership skills, and hopefully Drake can learn something from him as well. But I would say, like, we're going to compete all spring. We're going to compete during training camp, and uh, the best the best player will start. We're not sitting here saying that Drake is our starting quarterback. 
I think he understands that. He understands the things that he has to get better at. And, uh, you know, with coaching and once again, the hard work and the, the coaches that we have, the support system from ownership, you know, I think he, he has a chance to go out there and really to really play at a high level. You can talk about potential all you want to <laughs> until you reach it. It really doesn't matter. But we do know the man. We know the man is a hard worker and he's going to do everything he can to be successful. Presented by John Seward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Uh, <laughs> thanks, John. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, so I would say you don't need to say who the starter is in April. So I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, but Drake May was the third overall pick in a very good quarterback draft class. And he is competing with Jacoby Brissett and Bailey Zappi. He should win the If job. he can't beat out those guys, I it doesn't mean you can't get better. It doesn't mean that, you know, one day you can't be. It's kind of alarming, right? That's not like Michael Panics going out and beating out Kirk Cousins for the job in Atlanta. Like, these are two guys that shouldn't be starting. So I also think there's a, a world, though, where he shows up to camp and he looks really good, but they're like, we're going to start Jacoby Brissett anyways. And it's sure. not because Drake May isn't clearly better. It's just because they want to give him time. Because I, I think you've been, you even said earlier that you think that he'll probably sit like four games. Yeah, I think a safe estimate would be September is Jacoby Brissett's time. And Ugh. then they'll transition into October with... Now, I don't know. He may blow doors off everybody and be like, we can't not play this guy. He's yeah. awesome. He's the best athlete. Do you think when they Spot drafted Mac Jones, they thought maybe we can start Cam Newton? Yes, when they, when they drafted him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Right. But that's the part of that comment that I thought was weird. He's like going back to Bill, which I assume he's talking about Bill Belichick, and rookies aren't ready to go right away. What? He's talking about Bill Barnwell. From Most ESPN. of Belichick's first-round picks that were any good started. Whether it's Gerard Mayo or Devin McCourty or Mac Jones or... Uh, Richard Seymour, or like the good ones that could play, played right away. He drafted them for need, and they won the job. I mean, hell, some of the bad ones, like Cole Strange was drafted and put Didn't right Malcolm in Brown at guard. start right away yeah. at tackle? Like, I, I feel like it's way more than 50% of Maybe Bill Belichick's first-round rookies started. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, day one starter. Yep. Cole Strange, starter. Mac Jones, starter. Uh, Nikhil Harry, sucked. Not so much. <laughs> yeah. Isaiah but he Wynn, was hurt. Isaiah Wasn't Wynn he? and Sonny Michelle. I think the Harry Michelle was, was hurt. A starter. Michelle was hurt, I think, at first. Or was Wynn hurt? Uh, I think they both hurt. played, though, but they yeah. were both hurt also. Uh, Wynn was see. hurt in the preseason. Nikhil Harry was hurt. So the guys that didn't play had knee injuries. I mean, had injuries. Right. Malcolm Some Brown, Dominic knees. Easley. Dominic Easley was out. Hurt. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Chandler Jones, Dante Hightower. Played. Both started. Right. Remember they had that play against Sack Tennessee? Yeah, yeah that's great. So anyone who had any shot of being a good player played right away. So, First. therefore, Drake may, hence, two-fourth, yes, whatever, play right away. Probably should play right away. Uh, this text, I just wanted to acknowledge. Yes. Alternate angle, Drake may just tipped that Brady's coming back for a year. Love it. Baby, oh, I love that. Maybe he heard. <laughs> That's <laughs> my theory. To learn the Brady. only we way you can in. sit Drake may is, is if Brady, Brady comes back. He's <laughs> the only guy that... Otherwise, we're calling for Drake May. But if Tom Brady's the starter, ain't nobody on the planet calling love that. for Drake May. You can now blow Brissett and Zappi out of town yep. and say, hey, Excuse we got a new quarterback room. Out of town, I said. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, See you, ya. You got, we got well, two. you keep Brissett because you just paid him, but he's like your third quarterback. Yeah, you blow Zappi out of town. Emergency and it's like, All right. third. Yeah, yes. you get Brady and May. <sighs> and Brian, right? Tom, Brian Thomas is still on the board, by the way. The yes, wide receiver out of LSU so who we all like. When do we trade up? Uh, well, uh, Pittsburgh has their pick in Miami's next. I doubt Miami would let you trade up. Pittsburgh's, so your next best bet would be 22 with the Eagles. Pittsburgh's and, pick is in at 20. So I think now you can realistically be talking about moving up from 34 and maybe grabbing And Miami, if they took Brian Thomas, I would call them and say, are you trading Jalen Waddle? Yeah, right. Right? The Dolphins and then the Eagles. If they took him, they I'd don't say, need him. What are you doing? You just Jag signed A.J. Brown. Right. Yeah. Jaguars. So he's guaranteed to fall a couple spots. I was going to say Jags, Cowboys, Packers, Bucks, Cardinals. Packers. And with the way corners are falling, I mean, uh, the Cowboys. Eagles may be apt to trade down. Because like yep. their clear need is corner. And if Quinion Mitchell, Terry and Arnold, and uh, Cooper DeGene are all on the board at 22, why wouldn't they be interested in trading down? This is getting interesting at the wide receiver position. Ah. 32 young men will embark on their NFL career striving to make an impact on the field this is going to be pick number 20 here no you can stick with it we're about to get field, but in their communities no one cares about really no rough. one embodied that more than walter payton walter and today the league's highest honor the walter payton nfl man of the year award presented by nationwide recognized <laughs> his lasting legacy that seems cheap. Tonight, <laughs> really, we are proud I mean. to welcome the 2023 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year winner, Cam Hayward. 
to announce the Steelers pick. Yep. All right, All right here you go, Cam. Cam. There you go. Come on. Look good out there, Cam. First of all, I want to say thank you, Commissioner. And most importantly, I want to say thank you to the Peyton family, the NFL, and nationwide. <laughs> the NFL draft is special. Right. <laughs> to my fellow NFL players and the prospects joining the league this week, I want to challenge you. Use your platform to brighten someone's day. The opportunity before you is a gift. Getting and a little long. Here, this is our fault. This league, <laughs> I did not expect this moment. to be the case. It's okay. Be better we'll in our there. communities. Yep. Be better for our league and our world. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yep. Let's have a pick. Now, let's see what the Steelers take at 20. Steelers at 20. Here we go. Yep. Thank you. Right. Whenever this you're ready. The 20th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. The Pittsburgh Steelers select Troy Fatanu, tackle that. Washington. Yeah. Like okay. That. Yep. That's a good pick. A big yeah. tackle. He's one of my top go. five players in the draft. Top five? Yeah. Yeah. Favorites. Yeah. He, like, okay, he yeah, can yeah, play. Yeah. 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 yeah he, that's how I feel about. Whoops ass. Takes names. Somebody got mad at me because I said uh, Talise Fuonga is like my favorite player in the draft outside of Drake May, and I'm that's like, fine. what? He, he, I Why don't not? mean he's the best. I just love. Right. It. I want to. I just want to watch the guy play football. Right. Yeah. He's got ass. Some Logan Mankins esque. Yeah, Logan Mankins, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed watching play the game of football. I felt like if you were on an offense, you wanted him in front of you. You wanted him defend. Like right. Badass, that Denver man. game, remember we punched the guy in the nuts <laughs> over something? Like, that's who I want on my team. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a great Steelers. They'll love him in Pittsburgh. Yeah. He will be a He'll fit in perfect. fan He'll star for favorite. a dozen years. And plus, it's like Troy Polamalu. Troy he can Polamalu. play literally anywhere on the offensive line. Oh, yeah. Like, he is. Yep. Wherever you need beast. him, plug him in, tell him to whoop the guy in front of him. So, what is that? The third guy from Washington to get picked in the first round? Uh, Dunze, Penix, and Fatana. Yeah. Yes. Penix. Penix, <laughs> Penix went ahead of both those guys, <laughs> which I don't think bounce. anybody expected. No, Even it's... Penix. Yeah, that is the highlight of the draft so far. Obviously, Drake May, franchise quarterback with the Patriots, but far and away the biggest surprise was Penix. But then Denver's like, hey, we'll get it involved in this. And they take my guy, Bo Nix, at 12. But they need a quarterback. It's okay for them True. to reach. True. And yeah, you I can't even argue. One. You can't even argue, like, oh, you know, they saw what J uh, Jordan Love did with the Packers. Like, well, but Jordan Love fell. You just reached for a guy. You didn't take value when it fell to you. You reached but to what, the guy. what like, on earth is Kirk Cousins thinking? Did you see the video, too, making the rounds that people are speculating was Terry Fontenot explaining to Arthur Blank what went on? Like, it was a very animated discussion in the war room, and people are like, oh, he's trying to explain why he made such a <laughs> stupid pick. Because <laughs> Blank's probably, like, getting all these, like, people Could talking to him. Could have had Belichick like, over you. Be like, yeah, seriously. Like, uh, what on earth are they doing there? Yeah, and then I, that's Raheem Morris's first year as coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not so setting like, him up for He success. doesn't even get like a defensive guy or anything to go with him. On a team that desperately needs defensive players. Yeah. And you can't even argue this is some Jimmy Garoppolo motivate the starter. The starter just got there. And like, he just got a massive yeah, bag. I don't. Oh, I think Cheetah 1546 in the Twitch chat. Kirk Cousins was, quote, a little stunned, according to a reporter. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, sounds about right. I would it's imagine weird. a little I stunned. Would, I would have been caught very off guard. Like, because you're going wow, to Atlanta. The already have their pick in. Because Atlanta's like a 500 team or a game under 500 the last couple of years. Actually, last three years, right? Weren't they like 7 and 10 with Arthur Smith like every year? Yeah. So Kirk Cousins goes there. And you're like, all right, you got some young, talented guys. The defense is like, okay. But you got a top 10 pick. So you could go almost anywhere because you just signed a quarterback who's probably going to be good, I would think, for three or four years. Yeah, you and you had a bunch <laughs> of offensive weapons. The first thing but you do is you like, draft the backup It makes no sense. No. In a, in a best-case scenario, you think you got a quarterback that turns you into a contender, right? Yeah, like what a In the waste. NFC in particular, turns you into a contender. You have all this young offensive firepower, a new head coach. You feel good about everything. At the least helps you win the division. And I, I you think. didn't use the pick to make your better because you, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard, you can't play two quarterbacks wow. in the National Football League. I Although I think Pittsburgh should. I think Pittsburgh should play Wilson and Ooh. Fields. Ooh, Wildcat, just yes. like Wilson and Fields? Yes. I like that. I think you'd hand it to Fields. He could Pickens throw involved. it. He could run. Yes. Mm. Absolutely, they should play both guys. Jalen Warren, I like this. Keith. See? Ah, man. This is my I'm stepping in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Positionless little bit. football. You got Fontana, who can play anywhere. Maybe you put him at fullback occasionally, right. hand him the ball. Tight He's end. A big mf -er. yeah. Try and tackle him. Good it's luck. like when they use uh, Sewell in uh, Detroit. Yeah. He's like in motion and stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah. Go like, catch some passes, big boy. Everybody does that until somebody gets hurt. Uh, Remember when Richard Seymour got hurt in that role? Playing fullback? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, they had a role there where they went like Dan Klecko, Richard Seymour, like two or three guys like got hurt. And it was like, maybe we should stop doing that. It works yeah. for the fridge.
Uh, did, Frederick Perry did, did score a meaningful touchdown Walter there. Walter Payton, the presented by Nationwide, did not. <laughs> <laughs> Every single pick is now pre- presented by Nationwide. <laughs> Dolphins at 21, presented by Nationwide. So uh, the next pick will be going to the Miami Dolphins at 21. It's time that the pick is in. We're just waiting for the commissioner to go to the uh, the podium there. But Dolphins, good regular season. And then right at the end, the Bills were able to catch them. But what position do you think they're going to go for? They already have the two stud receivers. They got a quarterback who... Say whatever you want about him. Like, he's their quarterback. Where do they go? Yeah, my my assumption is probably offensive line. Uh, to me, this screams a guy like Graham Barton out of Duke. Mm-hmm. Uh, they you just, love him. No, uh, Yeah, but they they also lost Robert Hunt. Like, they need interior offensive line. Barton kind of slides in there. I also think – I also love Jackson Powers Johnson out of Oregon. Oh, Powers Johnson. He's my so boy. Great. I love that <laughs> what man. What an incredible name. Oh, I wish – I hope he's the next pick. Dude, um, Powers Johnson. Or – or they just go full Mike McDaniel. All I want to do is Ricky Bobby go fast, and they yeah. draft Xavier Worthy. Oh my God! Imagine that. That would be a pretty. Speaking good of fast, them. did you see the They're note the making the rounds? They're like the four fastest guys in the league. Don't yes, they? exactly. Much. Uh, Tyreek Hill has ten kids, including four in the last year. Yeah, I think Wait, that's what? I think that's Tyreek that was, was making the rounds today. He has yeah. he's uh, admitted or acknowledged that he has ten kids, including yeah. four in the last year. It's oh. fast in a lot it's of a lot. I mean, I got my hands full with the two. I don't know how he's. I don't know how he does it. Well, uh, I can tell you how. Money. They're probably all not. Some the same he hasn't met. <laughs> well, that's probably part of it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what the uh, what the Dolphins end up uh, pulling off here at twenty one. What if they just go Brian Thomas and say we want another receiver? They insurance they hood. Hey, Jalen Waddle, you want to screw around contract wise? Yeah. You think you're something? They we could probably also use some defense. Worked so well for the Red Sox they when they brought through. in Story to replace Xander Bogarts. This is Brian Thomas to replace. <laughs> it's Jaylen an embarrassment of riches. We're gonna. Force the one guy out. They also need pass rush. I wouldn't be shocked if this was like a... Verse? uh, No, Verse is gone. He got drafted already. Uh, Verse went to uh, the Rams at 19. Could be a Johnny Newton pick here to replace uh, Christian Wilkins. How many tackle? How many uh, many tackles do you think are potential start right away, guys? Because Offensive tackles? Offensive linemen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, there's been six offensive linemen taken... And if we think the Patriots need to do a offensive lineman in the second or the third round, or the second or third pick, I guess depending on on where it's going, how many of those guys are still available? I so think we there's still two have more. I think there's and two, Paul, right? Yeah, yeah they're both oh, out there. And and Jordan Morgan. And Jordan Morgan. I think those three and are the guy they one starters. The guy they have been so tied to is the guy from BYU. Go ahead, Sean. Oh, uh, Kingsley Suamatia. Yeah, him. All right, he, he does that well. Yeah. He does. And, so uh, he's still out there. And, All right. And Kuiper was really high on Roger Rosengarten, the other tackle out of Washington. Okay. Um. So I, he didn't get quite as much hype as Troy Fotanu. Um. I thought Rosengarten was fine. I didn't love him. Um. But I thought he was solid. Like he was, you know. Kept yeah, I just right for the most part. They're you showing know, up on the big on the ESPN draft board. The Dolphins lost a ton of players defensively. The yeah. 21st pick there we go. In the 2024 Johnny NFL Newton. draft. Cornerback. The Miami Dolphins select Chop Robinson. Oh, Chop Robinson. Linebacker. Uh, Penn State. We were right. Chop Fine. Robinson. There you go, defense. Yeah, they like Christian Wilkins is my, uh, and a bunch of other guys. They lost yeah. like eight defensive Bradley players. Bradley Chubb went down with injury. Van yeah. Ginkle went down with injury. Van Ginkle like, killed the Patriots. Yeah, 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 he did. <laughs> I was like, who the hell Van Ginkle? Yeah. They destroyed him. Uh, I would just like to point out Brian Thomas Jr. still on the board. Still there Absolutely. at 22. And more so than that is other receivers are being pushed down. Yeah, because the defense Sadie Mitchell. All those corners are still there, too. Quinion Mitchell, Terry and Arnold, Cooper DeGene, all still on the I, I want, I want A.D. Mitchell. Uh, the Patriots, I'm just all in on A.D. Mitchell. I want Brian Over Thomas. Over Thomas? So No, I think he's going to be gone. Okay, well, they, I mean, they you could trade, trade up, up with the Eagles right now. But the Eagles, sh- if they take their pick, shouldn't draft a receiver. They just signed no, A.J. Brown to a record-breaking a deal. The, the Jaguars at Jaguars Jaguars 23 receiver. probably would, right? Probably should. Yeah, they just lost Calvin Ridley, they and you have pay a young quarterback. Gabe Davis, though, like, does yeah, that but that's matter? fine. No, they still have, you still have a rookie good. contract. Yeah. Like, you're just adding a number one receiver on a rookie contract is what you hope. Yeah, true. And pairing him up with Trevor Lawrence to it's shut up all the critics. That whole thing. Cowboys probably want somebody on the other side of Ceedee Lamb. <laughs> well, they're, they're also protection against Ceedee Lamb because they have the Dak Prescott contract, and Lamb deserves. You have Jerry Jones saying, "Well, you know, we want to keep Dak, but that means he's going to have to have less around him." And honestly, yeah. the way this draft is going, they could take a running back. <laughs> the Cowboys. The I don't think a. Packers could. Won't, Packers won't at twenty five. No, nope. they never take receivers in the first nope. round. Especially, they don't need to. They have a so, million good. young ones that are good. So Thomas Worthy Mitchell. Yep. Lad McConkey. I know some Keon people Coleman. like. I'm Keon not. Coleman. Keon Coleman. Troy Franklin. There. There's absolutely going to be a draftable receiver on the board at thirty four. The question is, which one do you like? Ricky Pearsall. To come up. 
I like Ricky Pearsall. I do too. Um, not as much as I like A.D. Mitchell Gives me Adam or Brian Thielen Thomas. Vibes. It's also the third receiver from, or the second and third receiver from Washington, right? Don't they have like Jalen Polk, Polk, Jalen McMillan? Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Guys and Polk was a guy whose name got thrown around a bunch. Okay, as like the more we riser. talk about this, the more I want to stay put. Try to get my tackle now and then trade back up in the second round to get a receiver. Because mm-hmm. as much as I love receivers, okay. aren't there more, rece- way more receivers way than tackles? More. Yes. So I'm you- not even sure any of the tackles that are left are actually starters right away. Like you're- uh, I think Guyton and Morgan are. Eh, maybe. Maybe. And I like those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're, like, they're, you start to get into that, are they ready? Any more so ready than like Okorafor? Who is a right he tackle? Got benched by the Steelers, whose offensive line stunk. But he started whatever fifty-eight games in the National Football League. Good for him. I'm not sure those guys are ready to start. Right, like they're Okorafor is kind of the Jacoby Brissett, like the the place filler. Oh, like see, he reminds if me of I like take Cam Guyton, Fleming. If I take Guyton, yeah. Cam Fleming has started games in the National Football League. <laughs> Lee Adrian, <laughs> Lee Adrian Waddle uh, has started games in the National has. and oh, yes. massive breasts. The Adrian Waddle does. Huge. <laughs> All right. Well, on that <laughs> note, we will uh, step aside. You can join us, 617-779-7937, if you want to weigh in on the Eagles Patriots. On the Drafting of Drake May. The Eagles are on the clock at 22. Patriots have the second pick in the second round tomorrow, but there are uh, reports out there they might be looking to trade up. We had time to, to think through the process. We we went through various scenarios with the coaches and scouts, uh, you know, even going back to the collaborative approach that we did this time. And I would say the organization is was happy with uh, with Drake at three. So. Terod Mayo there with a little uh, Q&A with Patriots reporters after the number three pick, which was Drake May, quarterback out of North Carolina. So he says the whole organization was uh, – Happy was the pick of Drake May. Hmm. So Jonathan made the pick. Well, I just want, I mean, it can't, it couldn't have possibly have been unanimous. I'm not saying any draft pick should be unanimous. You have that many people. You have nine people at the pro day. It doesn't include the, really the two owners. Like, I'm not saying they all wanted Drake May, but I would say the majority of them did. Right? Like, that's what yeah, that's the I think I get. Cl- a clear majority that yeah. wanted Drake May. And I would say similar to every um, group we think of. I think most analysts thought Drake May. I think most fans, like there's, we've talked about the vocal minority where it's Merrill Hodge, whether it's fans on Twitter, that's the 10%, the 30%. I don't know what it is, but I think 70% or whatever the number is of analysts, of fans said there's three franchise QBs. Like Field Yates wrote it this morning and it's exactly how I felt all along. There were three franchise QBs in this draft. You pick third. I'm done here. (laughs) Like like whichever one is available third, take it. I feel like as soon as the season ended and we were looking at the tiebreakers remember because all strength of schedule where are the Patriots gonna pick Chad uh, Ryland you jackass so as soon as they right they could have picked second and who knows maybe they would have taken the same guy but if they as soon as they picked third and like once the dust settled and you know the prospects were sort of like all right here's who's in the draft the first thing everybody said was I guess you just take what Mayor Daniels like yeah. it, it really is it's up to Washington and then you take the other guy that's what we started with two months ago but I mean Leave it to us to take two months and just try to figure out every other thing. And then all of a sudden, J.J. McCarthy's this this great guy. And then there's, oh, well, you could trade down. You could get a haul. And so one thing I'm trying to figure out is, were they really interested in a big trade down? Because no. if they were, they don't turn the pick in right, right. when they're clock. Like, right. if you think draft night is when you're going to get the very best offer from Minnesota, you take your whole 10 minutes. Right. And you're like, are somebody going to call us or not? Well, so I think because uh, there's even more reports now that the Giants were trying desperately to move up to three. And so, like, I- I'm wondering if they were just kind of waiting. They're like, yeah, we're taking calls. And it's really only from the Giants who keep trying to badger us with calls. And they were just seeing how far the Giants would go. But they, but they couldn't they never go far were, enough. But, yeah, but they were never actually considering yeah. it. Yeah. I just, I don't. So, like, technically they were taking calls, but. I don't think the Giants could literally do it. Yeah. I just we're no, because staying their roster's our spot. so bad. Their roster right. stinks, so it's not like you can entice them with a player, right? So, like the Christian Darius Shaw or whatever. Like all right. these. Right, they different... didn't have enough first round picks have, to do it. it. No, right, not enough it. first round picks. Even their second round pick, they they don't have their high one. They they, they trade it down or whatever. So it's not even like you're picking thirty six. You're picking like forty six, so, forty three. Yeah. You know, you could be desperate, but I'm sorry, I don't. You know, there's a certain price, and you can't reach it. And I this isn't a charity. I'm not just doing you a solid because yeah. you're Brian Dayball or whatever. Like, nope, sorry. Uh, so one thing that's sort of conflicting, I I think, 
is Gerard Mayo before the draft started said like, hey, stick around. Like we're going to, you know, we like to trade back up, but there might be like end of the first round. Maybe here we are. We're getting in range. But then apparently Elliot Wolf was talking about how they want to add picks. He keeps saying that. They he have said that all along. Don't they have eight picks in this year's draft? Don't they have two six because of Mac Jones and then all their other picks? I believe so. Right. I think they have eight picks. And if they want to get more picks in this year's draft, the best way to do it would probably be trade 34, right? Trade down. Yeah, but then... you could do it anywhere along the way. Yeah, I get But if you're going to get any picks of any kind of significance, like I, adding sixth and seventh to me are like whatever because there's going to be good undrafted guys. You yeah. can get, you know, it's Those all are the just same. complete kind. swings. Yeah, definitely. Like it's. Anything that goes the rest of the night, and really tomorrow, like both rounds tomorrow, I think are certainly a... especially at this point with the kind of talent that's getting pushed down with all the quarterbacks that have been taken and everything. Like Absolutely. there are going to be legitimate studs yep. in tomorrow's uh, round, and that's where I said, "Well, maybe you just want to stick at thirty-four and then trade up from the third back into the second because of the that way the, the talent, way. Po- the like if there's this <laughs> get a receiver <laughs> and a tackle yes. in the second round. So, yeah, and but, I would probably take the tackle first because of the depth of receiver, yep. and boom, I'm done. you could so, come away with like a guy like Kingsley Suamatia plus Jalen Polk yeah. or so something. The, the Jackson- or maybe Leggett, or like I don't yeah. even know. I mean, who knows? This re- this group of receivers, we're going to start to get into the point with receivers like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You like Lad McConkey. I like... Whatever, Keon Coleman, they're very different. They're not. Whatever. So the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the clock at 23. They just showed their war room. So the owner, Shad Khan, is there. Oh, The Jacksonville Jaguars select Brian Thomas Jr. There he is. Wide receiver, LSU. As they should. Yeah, 100%. Man, they really talk about you miss out on or Calvin Ridley. You have him. He then signs a free agency and then you just replace him with Brian Thomas I, for way less money. That's pretty good. Home run. Yeah, that's good. Like Trevor Lawrence is pumped. He should be. Like he's back on board. That's a great pick. That is a but and I just want to say real quick. They, so they showed Shad Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, and then his son, Tony Khan, is the owner of AEW, the wrestling mm-hmm. company. And I guess last night he, the, he was in an angle where he was in oh, the yeah. ring and the young bucks like did like a power bomb on or whatever. He's in the war room wearing a neck brace. Now you think that, oh, that, that is, is selling no, it's amazing. Oh, uh, selling that 100, is selling hundred percent fine. Like that is hilarious. Yeah, I saw that they're kind of they think they're kind of trying to do the Stone Cold McMahon angle. That's yeah, not going to work. No. But, no, 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 no. But honestly, like, good for him. I know he's been getting that's a lot. Awesome. AEW's been kind of like circling the drain a little bit recently. But that's wah, hilarious. Wah. That's legit that's hilarious awesome. because and you can't buy that kind of. No, more no. people are watching this by far than any, right. like than their stuff. So that's actually really funny. <laughs> but yeah, Brian Thomas kind of like when didn't Urban Meyer. Remember, yes. he did something yeah, like Jericho. he smashed his laptop. And yeah, like Chris over, Jericho stormed his office. his office. Yeah, that was interesting. It, it was. <laughs> so, totally symbolic of that era. Brian Thomas, just the fourth wide receiver off the board. So, like, sort of their big three went when we kind of thought they would. Then there was a little bit of a gap. And uh, Brock Bowers did go the tight end to Vegas at 13. But Thomas becomes the fourth wide receiver off the board at 23. And now the Dallas Cowboys are on the clock at 24. Another spot the Patriots could trade up to. They definitely could. They definitely could. So stay tuned to find out. You guys can also weigh in. How are you feeling about the draft? How are you feeling about Drake May? 617-779-7937. Believe it or not, we only have one hour left. Yeah, yeah. we're if flying. We, if we could do it all night, we would. But they're they're physically removing us from the yep. station at, at midnight. Heard that. Well, I, the, I will have to go home and sleep at some point. But You should stay here. Shime's going to be on tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, Shime, you got the morning show, huh? Yeah, but it's Friday. Like, I just got to get through four hours. Right. You know, okay. I took care of all my pre-show stuff ahead of time because right. I was smart. You know. Good to know. I'm not yeah. sure I'm ever going to sleep again. Way too many energy drinks for you. He was a... Uh... He was one of the only quarterbacks in this draft that went up there after every loss and handled the media. Um, not that the Chapel Hill media is as tough as you guys are, but um, he, he, he handled it with grace, with class. There, watching those press conferences, there were a lot of times where the reporters were trying to get him to throw somebody under the bus and he wouldn't do it. Um, he's a 21-year-old kid, but, but he's very mature and, and understands what it means to be a leader. That was Elliot Wolf, the director of scouting for the New England Patriots, talking about the pick of Drake May, number three overall. Drake May faces the music 
Sort of a shot at Caleb Williams, I would read. Well, I, I don't want to take it as a personal shot. More <laughs> of just a what we talked about earlier, the adversity, the challenges, yeah. the ups, the downs that he has dealt with. Clearly, Elliot Wolf took that as a positive like we did, yes. not as a negative. What happened in year two? Nope. How come you fell off a little? No, like, nope. he dealt with that, and that's good for our future. Yeah. Now, I don't want to bank on him having to go to the podium after losses too often and avoiding yep. throwing teammates under the bus like you want to turn it around, but that he can do that and did that is a positive. He's also very committed to an organization. He was very committed to UNC. He was highly recruited by yep. Alabama. Billy O'Brien told us that this morning. They were trying told to get... This guy Shime. Yeah, Shime. 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 Yeah. Shime. On they the Shime and Obi show. Yeah, they were, trying to, <laughs> they were trying to get Drake made Alabama, and he has yeah. wanted to stay at UNC. It's a family thing. He loves the organization, so you know, it's kind of a good thing going forward. Also, Drake May will be on with Gresham Fourier tomorrow. Ooh, so how do you like that? One -on -one. They're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Drake May. They're Thinking also going to... The local football community and growing football participation at the youth and high school All right, levels. real quick. Wait, pop that down for a second. And yeah. then they're also going to talk with Drake May's uh, offensive coordinator for North Carolina as well. So, oh, okay. so tomorrow will be a real May day. The guy who's the reason day? his stats went down. Uh, yeah, you can pick his way. What the hell happened there? All right, What's let's that? go back it's to... It's going to be May. Let's go back to the Lions pick here. It's terrible. These young men and women nope, embody right. and <laughs> our values of respect, <laughs> nationwide integrity, yeah, this is also by a nationwide. and responsibility of their team. Uh, it's a bunch Wait. of flag football players. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Is that her name on the front of her jersey? Your academic and football career. Yeah, Holly. So she's literally playing now for the name selection. on the front of her jersey. Yeah, well. Please welcome Ellie Fagley. Excuse me? Careful. Oh. <laughs> oh. What'd you say? Let's not. <laughs> no. I know it's the late, Dallas but... Cowboys have traded the 24th pick to the Detroit Lions. Hey, Lions. All right. Where With the 24th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Terrian Arnold, defensive back, Alabama. Yeah, that makes sense. He was there, too, that poor kid. He'd been sitting there waiting for all these picks. I mean, 24 is not like he got skipped out of the first round, but that's a long time. He's probably been out the draft for hours especially hours when you're hours. expected to get taken at like you know 13 14 12 15, 15 right but uh lions trade up and get themselves a cornerback yeah i mean it's a smart way to do it right these corners are just sliding down the board so those teams that wanted them now can trade up there's a little bit of a run on them yeah nice good suit. to go uh, real nice suit is it i like that so you don't like that suit i don't love it it's like pinkish i just want to point out coral maybe fuchsia it's uh, Fuchsia? no, that's more purple. Oh. It's now Green Bay's pick. Another opportunity for the New England Patriots to trade back into the first round. Elliot, Just throwing it out there. Oh those are God. your peeps. Elliot's got to have the phone number of those guys. <laughs> we were, we were I brought Brian Gutekunst to take your call. Yeah, Care careful, Shime. Like, yeah. You don't like that. I know it's eleven oh five, but let's Jeez. not be you don't like crazy. Come don't on. say those words on the air. Save it for your podcast, Shime. I don't have uh, one, John. <laughs> You're the only guy in America <laughs> yeah, without a right? podcast. I used to be on a couple. All right, anymore. let's go to the let's go to the horn. We got John in Springfield. He joins us next year on the All Night Draft Show. What do you got, John? Yes, I was hoping they would uh, trade with Minnesota for uh, Jefferson, the 11th pick, and some more picks uh, to uh, get more quality receivers, enticing Brady uh, to return All right. after, you know, the, um, what do you call it, training camp, to prove that it was him that won us the Super Bowls and not Bill Belichick. And even if he just beat uh, Mahomes and stopped him from getting – Three in a row, that would be pretty good. And we, um, and we, we needed a quarterback that's um, played in the windy, cold winter weather. So I don't know how Drink May fits in that category. Excellent. Well, thanks, John. Did you say Drink ever... May? <laughs> I don't think you were like ever it. getting uh, Justin Jefferson. By the way, he I was don't think never, you were, I, I, never available. And Jones didn't even want him. So nope. Justin Jefferson never got. Traded. Or at least he hasn't gotten traded to and this he's not point. Going to. He wanted a cold weather quarterback. So JJ McCarthy. I JJ think is McCarthy. The only one. Well, I mean, Washington, Oregon gets probably kind of cold, right? And Penix yeah. played in Indiana too. I mean, true. Patrick Mahomes played in Texas his whole life. I know. I know. Who cares? He's this H. Yeah. <laughs> Like sometimes these things just has annoy Drake, the Joe, hell has Drake May ever been cold? Has, has Drake May ever been cold? <laughs> Uh, just, find out next time. He did play. I think I he know. played at Syracuse. That counts. Well, right? listen, it's late night. What do you want? This guy's been watching the draft all That's night. That's true. <laughs> what does that sound? What is that? Is that you? It's hard. It's just my cans. Oh my god! <laughs> it sounded like we were being invaded in here. Did you hear that? <laughs> I was like, my god, somebody at the door. Like, what is that? That's terrifying. It's scary hours. Here. All right, so picks already in for the Packers. They haven't uh, gone to the. They haven't announced it Dang. yet. But Green Bay. Oh well. 
I would look at it good news, bad news. They didn't trade up, but also Green Bay is not taking a wide out. True. Very fair. So Mitchell is sliding down the board. This is probably Cooper DeGene. Is he best wide receiver available right now? Would you? AD Mitchell. AD Mitchell. Yeah, for me, definitely. It's best not even close. offensive tackle available? Uh, that would be uh, Tyler Guyton or Jordan Morgan. I'd say Guyton. Yeah. All right, so Guyton or Mitchell, if they were both available. Mitchell. Mitchell. Well, what is our um, so analysis not- pick here? Like, is it... I think the depth that receiver would push you towards Guyton, but if you're just saying who's the best talent available that is BP, at a, best player available, BPA. Yeah, so especially guess, so at my, a position of need. Well, yeah, so it is a position of need. They've been the hottest picks in the draft. If you missed it, six of the first 12 picks were quarterbacks. There's been a bunch of offensive linemen, uh, only four wide receivers to this point. So I guess yeah. the question would be stay at 34. You don't have to trade right. up. You probably you don't. If you to. like them all, like if you're in love with Mitchell, like me, then you probably jump trade up in up. front of the Bills. That's all you have to yeah. do. You have you can do, you, and you have plenty of opportunities, right? You can do it with the Bucks coming up, or you can do it with the Cardinals. Oh, the Bills have to take Mitchell at twenty eight, right? Yeah, if he's there, they absolutely. Have and then to. the other aspect is the tackle position. If they don't think those guys are starters, if they're uh, like, yeah, Okora for or that, you know what I mean? Green Bay at twenty five. Look at that guy. He's excited. People, that's, that place is packed. There's 270,000 people. Why? What are we listening? They just had a record. I don't know. That's just ambient noise. <laughs> Sorry. Every time he boos, uh, every time I hear boos, I assume Roger Goodell's going. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's a safe assumption. Well, they do there. say the pick is in, but why do they have rings on their? Yeah, heads? I don't think he's coming up quite yet. I don't think he's there. All right. Well, as soon as he, so, as soon just as going he's back there. to my thought, they yeah. may not think there's a starting tackle on the board. That Guyton is developmental. Yeah. That these guys are developmental. And that I can get a developmental tackle later. I'm going to have to figure this out, duct tape it together for a year. But the receivers that are falling are all potential number one receivers. Yeah. There's a there's sort of a, a value-based weighing there. Mm. Yeah. So for me, I would I would probably just prioritize the best wide out available because Same. I feel like either tackle is probably a project. And by the third round, yeah, you might be kind of scraping it a little bit. But neither nobody who's left is probably like, here you go. You're the left tackle day one for this team. So you're probably going to have to figure that out. Maybe somebody surprises you in camp or something like that. But give me a young receiver that you can pair with Drake May. Like I, or, I, yes, dumb idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why, listening, why love stop? that. So the Bengals have Orlando Brown and Mims, correct? Yes. Yep. Say Mims is awesome in camp. Mm-hmm. Trade for Trent Brown to play left tackle. <laughs> I told, you was a, I told you it was a dog. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you were right. You weren't wrong. You were right. Because I hate Trent wrong. Brown. I want no part no, of Trent Brown. Trent Brown had one good season. He would make sense as a, like, piecemeal tackle. Yeah, I guess. Especially if they're using him as a backup in Cincy. I think that's exactly what they're – no, I think they're using him as a piecemeal tackle because I don't think they want to start Mims right away. He's probably not – He's only played, like, eight games in yeah. college football. That's not great, but he's a – you He's see their tackles. Man. You were trying to think of a pun. He's a you? strong, corn-fed boy. They let have me tell you. three tackles that are over six seven and over three forty. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, and we don't even have one tackle. Oh, no, we don't that's have any tremendous. Tackles. But yeah. we're not being negative. We have Drake May. No positivity. Drake May. We have a guy that yep. Gerard Mayo Got compared to Joe Burrow and Tom Brady. Let's stick with Joe Burrow. He compared him to Joe Burrow and Tom Brady. And Drake May said, "You know what?" Not a bad place for a quarterback because the defense is good. Right. He also <laughs> said, and I plan on learning from Tom Brady because Tom Brady's there all the time, and I don't. And I'm like, what? you may never meet him. <laughs> you may never meet Tom no, Brady. He'll meet him on. He'll. I guarantee you, he'll meet him on six twelve. Yeah, they'll make him go to that. No, I think he'd want to. What you make it sound? Why'd you turn on Drake? Drake May. May. Is he going to pay? Twenty fifth pick in the twenty twenty four NFL go, you know. draft. The Green Bay Packers and hosts for the twenty twenty five NFL draft. <laughs> Boo. Select Jordan Morgan, tackle wow. Arizona. So one less tackle on the board. Yeah. What number is that? Twenty five. Yes, yeah. twenty five. There's going to be potentially a receiver and a tackle on the board at thirty four. I'm going to bar- say don't. Trade I don't up know now. that there's going to be a tackle left. If they're going Jordan Morgan now, that indicates to me that there might be another tackle coming off the board here imminently. But Paul Guyton. I don't like Paul and your do. guy. Suma oh, Tumatua. Grant Barton. Oh, Kingsley Sumatia. Or if you want to tell me Barton. There's those four. We got A.D. Mitchell, right? Like, there's only nine picks. Like, there's math going on here. 20, so, yeah. Although, I'm going to tell you people. They kind of buried the lead. Gresham Fourier are doing the draft at uh, Green Bay next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what if they'll still be at yeah, the Buffalo Wild Wings? Or to Lambeau next year? For the the AFC has a problem 
if they allow A.D. Mitchell to go to Buffalo or Kansas City. It's yes. a bad idea. Uh, I'm just telling you people, it is a bad idea. Well, the Bills will probably be – I can't imagine A.D. Mitchell steps in and is as good as Steph Diggs was right away. I, th- I feel like maybe he gets there at some point, but He'll also Steph Diggs a big Allen loss. In the football, no, I know. Was Justin Jefferson as good as Steph Diggs? Yes. He was better. So that's happened before. So A.D. Mitchell is Justin Jefferson now? He, he's a receiver that went in the 20s that I think could be the best receiver in the uh, draft. Tampa so yes, has their pick. right okay. now well, he's the right, same. I'm just saying, you're right. I'm not just, Justin Jefferson. Like, you people do this. I'm not a you, you people. people. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you <laughs> people lump me in but with everybody yeah. else. I think A.D. Mitchell is a receiver that's going to go in the 20s who could end up being the best receiver in this draft and I one of the best like, receivers in the NFL. I do like A.D. Mitchell. I am a little surprised that people didn't take the cheese on the Xavier Worthy 40 time. Yeah, He same, has not been picked same. yet. Same, yeah. I'm actually stunned that he is uh, still available. Because they were too busy taking the cheese on quarterbacks. Oh, my God. Did they ever? <laughs> uh, that was some good cheese. Penix, eight overall to the Falcons, which everything about that is delicious. I can't <laughs> even explain to him you how going eight that is. is like shock and awe, and then him going to a team that spent the most money on a quarterback in free agency and Kirk Cousins is just like the crazy uh, icing on top. From a pure entertainment value, yeah, I don't think you could have asked for much more from this. No, draft. and then they showed uh. Zeke came in here and the video of the Falcons war room right after the pick and Arthur Blank as only Arthur Blank can look like a Dick Tracy villain is standing <laughs> next to Terry Fontenot and he's like trying to explain to him like why he took yeah. him and Blank's like the hell <laughs> I mean I'm exaggerating a little bit but there was like an animated conversation Absolutely. between the two and Blank was left like very confused by it so that and then I would also say, just as a wrestling fan, Tony Khan being in the war room with a neck brace. These are all the highlights so far. The, the war room read. highlights the of war the room night. highlights, yeah. We didn't get any in New England. No, there really wasn't. They showed it. like they Jonathan. Oh, what's Jonathan doing? Oh, no. Like, there was none of that. No. It was a normal war room. It was fine. No. It's pretty, it's, <laughs> it's pretty good. He showed it on Twitch right now. <laughs> you, like, you, you see, like, you see oh, we thought... See, See, I know, I know, we're picking eight, and Michael Penix is supposed to be picked way down here, but we're picking way up here. <laughs> and he's like, and so we took him. Didn't we spend a boatload of money on cousins? Look at yeah, everybody. But you didn't hey, know. You sure about that? Everybody else is trying to look somewhere else. This guy's looking at the wall. He's like looking over here. He's like, oh my god, you see what, what they're saying about guy? us? <laughs> That's a mess. Uh, let's go to uh, Big Al in Georgia. He joins us next week. Program. Al. What's up, Big Al? Fellows, fellows, how are we doing? Tonight? Doing great. Listen, I, I hate as much as I hate to be. The skunk at the picnic. Come on. I really, I really don't like the pick. Not because I don't like the kid. I'm sure he's a great kid. But I would have taken the alt kid from Notre Dame who went two picks later. I just hope that he, I hope that he's got a lot of health insurance. I hope he's, I hope he's well covered. Yeah, nationwide. Because he's going to be running for his life back there. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, possible. Good thing he's athletic. I hope he's got. He's, he's got Hillary Care, Obama Care, Trump Care, uh, uh, Gary Tangway's discount insurance. He should have every kind of insurance there is. All right. Because right now, about he's going to be a sitting duck back there. Oh, Affleck. All right. Go. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for the call, Big Al. Always appreciate that. Joe, uh, Joe Alt. Imagine if they took Joe Alt at three. Uh, no, we would have lost our minds. Yeah. I would have locked down. I would have ran out into traffic. We would have been I would have ran air. out into yep. the middle of the road. We would have had, had to, to play just commercials. Of the Red One of those game. Ubers that's always out there would have run you over. <laughs> <laughs> just gotten absolutely pancaked out there. Uh, they took Joe Alt. construction site. Yeah. Hey, look at Jacoby Brissett's got all the time in the world. Like, What's great. the worst what case scenario that could happen to a rookie quarterback because the line isn't very good? He gets hurt? Yeah. Happened to Joe Burrow. Didn't it? Yeah, he's just you know how that worked out. He got Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase and they went to the damn Super Bowl. So worst case scenario is the best case scenario. Joe, all oh, that is a, that is a rough go. But uh, there you or go. the flip side of that is you take like a Joe Thomas and he's awesome and you don't have a quarterback. You don't ever win. <laughs> and Drake May is a Hall of Fame quarterback right. on another team. You, you did what you had to do. The quarterback, we're seeing it. Six of 12 picks were quarterbacks. You got arguably the first or second most talented quarterback in the draft where six yeah. went in the top 12 picks. If you can't get happy about that, you can't get happy about anything. The pick is in for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 26. So still some time for the Patriots to trade back up, but they may not need to. There has not been a run on wide receivers like I thought there there would be. They haven't traded up, at least as of yet. The uh, Arizona Cardinals just took Darius Robinson at 27. So we have a few more picks in round number one, although there's only been four wide receivers taken. So the Patriots could just stay on the board at 34 and do what Ellie Wolf just said, weaponize the offense, or that's what he said before, but uh, get weapons for Drake May. 
It looks like you could still do that at 34. Yeah. At this point, I mean, the guys just keep falling. I mean, now we've gotten a run on defensive players here in the second half. Yeah, yeah. It is just pushing better receivers down the board. There are a bunch of them that you could take at 34. Yeah, I think I no longer would trade up. I think I more and more am saying stick at 34 and then consider trading up tomorrow in the second after round. that. Yeah. From third to second or But however. also, if you were to trade up right now, you're not giving up nearly as much. Nope. We have a trade. Oh! The Kansas City trade. Chiefs have jumped to 28, swapped with the Buffalo Bills. Oh, my 80 God. Mitchell. To Why don't you just give them more Super Bowl trophies? Or Xavier Worthy? You think it's that? No, no I think it's I 80 don't. Mitchell. I don't. They, they, uh, they did that with McCall Hardman, uh, and that did not help them. Yeah, no, it did not. Jesus, so the dynasty even more now. AD Mitchell. Three in a row. Unless they want an offensive lineman. They need offensive line help. This could the, be for, uh, was it? Tyler Guyton's the tackle still left, do the right? Bills, yeah. Do the Bills not feel like wide receiver is important considering Steph Diggs helped turn that franchise around and then he just left? Or they're saying exactly what we are. Guys just keep falling down the board. We can go to 32. We'll still get yeah. one. I think there's probably a lot of teams that are like, yeah, we like that whole group. Yeah. I like that guy. I like that guy. I like that guy. And they're not all going to be gone. No. So I'm going to stick here and pick here. Yeah. But don't we all agree that AD Mitchell is the best out of that group? Yeah, like, but what I, do we know? Yeah, but I also like, – what, I, don't, what I, don't we know? I also really like Keon Coleman. Um, you like Ladd McConkey? I'm not a big Lad McConkey guy. Hart, you like Lad McConkey? Nope. Where's Fitzy when you need him? Because he's a big Lad McConkey guy. He does guy. like Lad McConkey. Of course he does. Yep. There's a lot of smoke around Jalen Polk. Ricky Pearsall's a guy. Hart and I have kind of batted around. We like him. I, I, like, I do um, like him. I like Troy Franklin. I wouldn't take him at 34, probably. Mm. That's Troy one. Franklin scares me. Yeah. I just you see, don't like any of the Oregon guys. I, no, I see Tyquan Thornton. Like, There's this lanky oh, really? look to him that scares the ever loving Yeah, but Tyquan Thornton, I didn't think could. I don't think can. Like run routes, like Tyquan Thornton. Like, in fact, he can't. Like he, got, yeah, he yeah. gets hurt trying to run a route. Like he just he's fast, straight. I feel like Troy Franklin can do a up. few you more didn't things. See the uh, the videos this off season. He's bulking up. I'm good with that. He was working out. Yeah, he's getting jacked. Which, with QB one Bailey Zappy, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know Where if it's QB one or wide receiver five or whatever the hell's going on in that room. I know you both can leave town together. <laughs> How are those like that video of Bailey Zappy doing that emotional speech to Kendrick Bourne on his birthday? Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Drake hey, May's team now. The guys like each other, you know. Yeah, that is true. There's love in the air. There, there's some love in the air. It's, and it's yeah, something but you they, wouldn't have seen with Mac Jones. Yeah, but do they still? Like Probably now true. you throw the number three pick in the draft, that changes the dynamic. Yeah, a Bailey Zappi's on the way out. Like it's not. I mean, he looks cheap. He could be on the roster still. Well, yeah, he may be your emergency quarterback for now, but yeah. That's yeah, they, I mean, I last mean, year they had like 20 quarterback transactions. So you could theoretically this year have just these three guys from start to finish. Bailey Zappi could be one of the better third string quarterbacks in the National Football League. I mean, third string, you are kind of yeah. falling off a cliff. Scraping the but I mean, bottom of the little. How many of the third string quarterbacks had games? a region chanting your name? <laughs> I would assume not many. Right. Yeah, not many. So, at the, point the, taken. The list. <laughs> it's just your own point. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that about your own point. So, Kansas City on the clock at 28. So, we have the final, what is that, five <sighs> picks of the first round. They could. Now, I don't disagree with Shine here in that there's two schools of thought here. They AD Mitchell is far and away their guy, or or whatever receiver they have a guy that they have slotted higher than everybody else, or they said, well, there's only one tackle left. Well, my whatever. thought, my thought is, is do you think Buffalo would really be like, oh yeah, we'll let you come up and take AD Mitchell, the Kansas City Chiefs, our number one rival in football? I guess. Uh, I, uh, like to me, it has to be business. offensive tackle. But they yeah, both need them. Or maybe I guess maybe this could be a corner. This could be Cooper DeGene or. Or Kool Aid McKintree to replace Legereus Sneed. Like I guess that's in play. Oh yeah, you can yeah. go Kool Aid. Like because Kool-Aid. like that's a pick to me. Buffalo's like, yeah, we'll take the trade down. But if if they know you're coming up for AD Mitchell, there's no way Buffalo is sitting there like, yeah, we're gonna let Patrick Mahomes have AD effing Mitchell. Well, there is the possibility <laughs> that the stock has been down. Literally, I saw this. You know, people doing the stock up, stock down. AD Mitchell. But any there receiver, were, I think, really. There was some questions about his combine workout. There's some questions about his makeup and kind of character, football character, off-field question. Like, so, there, you know, you get these scouting reports, and these are the things I always say we don't have. Like, he could be a total a-hole for all I know. And everybody's oh, yeah. like, I'm not touching that But guy I kind of want a ball. receiver who's a bit of an a-hole. I think yeah, they all kind of are. Yeah, you want the ball? Yeah. Right. You think well, you're did better you, did than you see anybody else? Marvin Harrison Sr. was saying about his son. He's like, yeah, he doesn't demand the ball enough. He won't go into the room and be like, give me the damn ball. He's like, that's what I tell my son all the time. I tell him, go in there and tell them you want the ball. You ever yeah. read that Keyshawn Johnson book? I just, I did a book just give on me it. the damn ball. Eighth grade. Eighth grade book report. Seven, or maybe seventh? Oh, it was great. How'd you do? 
Uh, a plus plus probably. Right, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> good job. Ace that class. I only did one year of eighth grade, so nice. proud of you. Obviously, pretty good. Successful. <laughs> you reclassify as a seventh grader? <laughs> no, I should have. Oh, I would have dominated middle school. Remember right? in our day they called it staying back. Now they call it reclassifying. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Uh, Jiminy Christmas. All right, Goodell's at the podium now, but uh, there's probably some other nationwide sponsorship going on <laughs> Easy. right now. So careful. I've been down this road before on live radio. No, I know they do some real Sometimes good ones to too. make a wish. Just I know. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Football and the Chiefs got them through those treatments. Please welcome. No, Justin good. It's good. Jose, I said they do good stuff. Whose wish is to announce Jackass. the first round draft pick for his beloved Kansas City Chiefs? Heck yeah! I'd like all of you to join me in cheering on Justin. As his wish comes true. But oh, they've been bring, drinking. They bring Food these guys out so Goodell okay, doesn't get booed so much. It's what it's plus it sounds been like drinking. with that year he was on his like recliner chair and he was like either He'd still bring people out. Yeah. Alright, let's hear this. The kid. Buffalo Bills have traded the twenty eighth pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. With the twenty eighth pick in the twenty twenty four NFL draft, the back to back Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, select Xavier Worthy. Oh wow, they did it. Paul John. Wow. Going speed, going big time speed. They don't know. They don't know receivers in Kansas City. They kind of no. miss Sky Moore. Although Rasheed Tyree Rice Kill, was they good stumbled at first. into in the fifth round. McCole yeah. Hardman was a yeah. bust. Travis Kelsey also like a fifth round pick. Yeah, he yeah. Was like, I don't like that pick at all. They they Neither seem to I. just fall in love with speed. Yeah, yeah and they don't weird. know how to use it like Miami does. Miami draft speed, oh, yeah, gets no, speed, they're and they're like, Michael burners. Daniels, like, I see the big picture. Yeah. Andy Reid gets speed and goes, all right, throw ball at the guy. Hope he runs fast. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't, like I don't that love either. that pick. But I do love that it's a receiver that I didn't want pushing other yes. receivers that I do want further down True. the board. So it also, you can stick and pick. <laughs> also, won't matter. Yep. That guy could suck. Patrick Mahomes will be just fine. He could be great. They also like signed other... Marquise Brown. Yeah. So, you know, well, they're, they're, they're going to be fine. Oh, the. Oh, why would you take Worthy when you... I forgot about Hollywood Brown. Yeah, Hollywood Brown. Brown is literally just like a... a no, maybe Worthy's better than we think. I don't think... I don't think so. He is. No. I mean, he weighs I, He's less what, than... 5'10", 164, Keith? You looked it up earlier or something? Yeah, yeah, he's, oh, yeah. he's a tiny little guy. No, thanks. Although, he's still like 20. He's a, he's a young gun. Yeah, but he's, he ain't oh, growing. Oh, so you think he's going to put on 40 pounds? <laughs> no, I'm just painting the picture. What are we doing? Just, just describing the man. Yeah, oh. I... Uh, I don't know you know it's they, a good matchup. Him with uh, what's his name, the the commander's corner they took too early. Oh, uh, Emmanuel Forbes. Yeah, Forbes versus. Oh, no, that's that a fair weird. matchup. I saw yeah, one sixty versus one sixty. So in one of the commercial breaks, I was on TikTok fighting for my life in the bathroom, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I found, this guy is a ch one chicken wing, and he yeah, sprints to the it, can. He tough. made him. On I know it was his chicken on wings. the diet. Things it's tough sometimes, but either way, I saw uh, the uh, there's diet, a though, there's a Miami Dolphins fan who has like a little bit of a TikTok following, and he is now under uh, the assumption that the commanders just keep giving players to the New England Patriots the draft. Last year, they took Emmanuel Forbes instead of taking That's Christian true. Gonzalez. That's actually really and funny. And this year, they took Jaden Daniels over Drake May. I kind of like actually, that. Right? Yeah, that's actually really good. Interesting conspiracy. And I hope it works out similarly. I would love that. Well, other than Drake May getting hurt in three games. No, no, no I just mean talent-wise, hope it works out similarly. A, so we actually, give, I don't hate that idea. If he goes three games into the season and then gets hurt, and I know he's coming back and going to be fine, and that allows them to— And he was to, great in those three games? Yes, like Gonzalez, where we go, oh, my God, we have our— He was the offensive rookie of the month, offensive player of the so month. that way we're drafting top seven again. We get a legit offensive lineman or a legit number one receiver, and you're— off and running, baby. Chess, <laughs> baby. I'm, I'm looking at the Chiefs drafts for like the last seven, eight years. Oh, God. This and, is not good. No, if it wasn't for Tyreek Hill, who fell in the draft for obvious reasons and then was a huge, you know, success when they got him, they're like Patriots level wide receiver drafters. It's so bad. They actually, Tyreek Hill wasn't even the first receiver they took in the 2016 draft. They took Demarcus Robinson in, in the fourth round. Journey They've taken uh, Jahu Chasen, who I don't remember. He's a fourth round pick out of Michigan. What's his name? Uh, J E H U. How would you pronounce that? J U J U. I don't know. Chesson. Chasen. No. Nope. Uh, they took. Where would he go? A guy, I don't know. Michigan, he, I believe. No, no, no. I mean, played twenty-four oh. games total has like uh, zero touchdowns. Yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. they took a guy in the sixth round. Whatever. They took McCall Hardman in the second Stinks. round. They took another fifth rounder I've never heard of. They took Sky Moore in the second round, and then they Man. took Rasheed Rice in the second round, who actually was, was decent. Good. And then so that track record tells us we're right about Worthy. Pick. Yeah, it could be, could absolutely be right about Worthy. He this might, could he be might. AD Mitchell, Andy. This is where I would be worried. Oh, if the Cowboys take him, that'd be pretty good. That'd be a good pick for them. AD Mitchell plus CD Lamb, that would be the, a very good pick. I just I'm the Dallas Cowboys select.
There you go. Never mind. Offensive lineman. We go big hoss. Yep. Because they lost uh, Tyron Smith and the other guy. The, they lost two offensive linemen, and they have a versatile offensive lineman. They had a guy playing tackle who's not really a tackle. Uh, no, they had a guy playing guard who was supposed to be their tackle, and Tyler Steen. Yes, I knew they had they they, they needed a. So, lineman. but I think but I think what they'll do is they'll keep Steen at guard now because Steen was like an all pro level guard, and instead of kicking him out to tackle, you put Tyler Guyton, the six foot seven behemoth, at <laughs> tackle, and then you cook. I liked him. I wanted him. Yeah, Guyton was good. Dude, he's six eight three twenty two. That's he a, is a oh big boy. That's a tackle. He's, That's got, a good, he's got a good draft party going on, too. He They're does. fired up. I got to tell you, this year's tackle class, huge. Big. Oh, yeah. Huge yeah, boys. Yeah, mountains over there. Yeah. Left, right tackle. Amarius Mims, Guyton, Joe Alt, six foot eight monster. Like, it yeah. just. Whew. Uh, Run out of time here yeah. for the Patriots to trade back in, though. Just saying. We absolutely are. Really as uh, we have. That was the 29th pick in the draft. So we're down to three picks left in the first round. It and Baltimore's be... pick is already in at 30. Oh, they're running up there. They like somebody. So Baltimore, San Francisco, Buffalo after the trade down with Kansas City. So you're looking at three of the best teams in the league uh, with picks here. And if you're the Patriots, you're right. You're like, oh, there's a pile there's of There's a lot of talent yeah. on the board. When you mix yeah. in DeGean, right? Still yep. on the board. Yep. Uh, multiple wide receivers that I think they would consider still on the board. Would you consider Johnny Newton putting him next to Christian Barmore and Matt Judon um, and getting real beefy and attacking the uh I probably would trenches? Like, for for example, DeGene is a need. Yeah, sure. Corner yeah. slash free safety, I need. Yeah, definitely. And he might be the best player available. There's some people that think he should have, you know, he was yeah, rated as like a top 20, top 15. I can't pick. wait another whole round without a wide out, though. Like, I know there's a yeah. bunch of them, but, yeah. like, that's what I'm taking to start tomorrow night because you still have – uh, Xavier Leggett, you have A.D. Mitchell, who we all like, Lad McConkey, Ricky Pearsall, Keon, uh, Keon Coleman. All those guys are still available. Yeah. So I think you got to go. I, I mean, as of right now, even if it goes wide out from, from now until you, you still get one of those guys I just named. Yep. And it won't. I mean, there's going to be a couple other guys that, that get picked in between. I don't think the Ravens take a wide out here. I think I don't even know where they go because I, I was thinking all along I thought offensive line. Maybe they go corner. Maybe this is a – DeGene or the, Kool-Aid uh, McKinstry spot. I feel like DeGene would be a good pick for them. Yeah, versatile. Just a plays versatile. Defense. Nate Wiggins good still there. Feels like a Baltimore player. guy. Yeah, he does feel kind of like a Baltimore guy. Ooh. The Clemson corner, Nate Wiggins still there too. Yeah, so I like Wiggins, but he's just, he's there's size concerns yeah. there. He is yeah. skinny as he's can be. Not, not, a, not a big dude. So, so are we all comfortable saying we don't need them to trade up even no, though we wanted them originally point, you're so close because it's the it's the ravens that have the pick in it's the niners it's the bills and then the only pick ahead of you tomorrow night is the carolina panthers since that 15th pick at the colts it's just been defense 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 tackle defense line only two wide line. Outs. Like yeah. it's just been all defense, and and so it's just pushed all these guys down for you to a five, point where yeah, only five wide receivers be. have been taken. And if you liked, you know, eight or ten of them, like a lot of people did going into the night, only five are off the board. And uh, I would say four of them we knew were going to be off. I thought Brian Thomas might be a little bit higher. He ended up falling to twenty three, and then Xavier Worthy with the fastest forty time ever at the combine goes twenty eight to the Chiefs. Well, yeah, Bo. <laughs> I get, did Dion not run at the combine? I feel like Dion. I think he ran a fast one too. Yeah. Didn't he borrow shoes? Yeah, I think so. I think he borrowed shoes. But sometimes when they have these like quote unquote records, there's like an asterisk. And they're like since yeah. 2000. Well, a lot of them like, are okay. since a certain period where people started sort of tracking electronic yeah. measurements, things of that nature. That's Don't true. tell me Bo wasn't the fastest, or <laughs> strongest, or bestest. He might have been all of those things. There's we a, know you love Bo. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we get it. My guy. Um, Damn it, Ooh, Ravens! Right look at the war room. They're all laughing, chuckling. They're having a good time. They like this pick. I like their owner. Jeans in a shirt. That's him right there. Bashadi with his back to us, yeah. right? Big friend yeah. uh, Bill Belichick. Ozzie Newsom thought he retired. What's Bill he doing G at the head of the table? He's making picks. That guy can. That guy knows how to draft. What what is he, is it like, Eric DaCosta? The yeah. yeah. Ozzie Newsom's retired. What is he? The um, what do they call that? Emeritus. Yes. Yeah. That's not dead, right? That's no. a different one. No, he's alive. He's right there. There's yeah. a different word for dead. Posthumous? Yeah, posthumous. I'm from He's the not the GM from downtown. downtown. Oh, now let's have a concert? Are they just having a concert? Oh, here we go. The Baltimore Ravens select Nate Wiggins, oh, defensive okay. back, Clemson. There you go. I'm fine. Yeah. The Patriots have a boatload of talent on the table. You could take Paul. You could. AD Mitchell? What are you we doing? AD Mitchell at 34? <laughs> what if the Bills get see that? What if the Bills trade down to get AD Mitchell? Well, so I'd be worried about the Panthers taking him at 33. 
Just they because like, they, oh, the they Panthers need going a wide receiver. Out? They have to get one. I mean, their team sucks. They, have, they could go they anywhere. Have, they, they, have, they really could pick they any have, player. They they signed a bunch of offensive linemen in free agency, and then their receivers were Deontay Johnson and Adam Thielen. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got Deontay Johnson, though. Yeah, but they need, like, another, they need yeah. another guy. Yeah, I guess. So, I like Wiggins a lot, but I, what the hell's going on I'm kind here? Of I don't know. Oh, those blue balls on the table. Stop it. A literal blue footballs. Whoa, look it's at it. It's like this weird look at this lady on the right. Jesus. Jeepers. Creepers. Jesus. Stay in there. Those, I <laughs> mean, is this is what I, I was talking about. I thought, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> that, I mean, that. I, I thought mean, ESPN was a family. Program. I was caught off guard. Is that Nate Wiggins' family, I think, from Clemson they're showing? I yeah, believe like so, it. yes. He had a house uh, party as well. I don't think it was at his house. No, he, it looks like it's at a those club. Those weird tables, like, looks set like up. A club. Right, fake some, turf and blue balls. Yeah, that Football. was footballs yeah. to clarify i had to look i had to like double check there was i didn't think double what i was gonna be yeah i didn't think i was gonna be exactly tv legal <laughs> was this on <laughs> hbo what the <laughs> hell what is this skin i All never right. thought i would say this but stick and pick Actually, they're right there you might as well you're so close AD mitchell the 49ers at 31 trade for ad mitchell hey we'll trade with you so we can get ad mitchell or we'll trade with you for brandon Ayuk, and you can take ad mitchell well, either only, way you win we win everybody wins there's only three picks between uh, the Patriots next one, right? So yep. if you look at the best available again, and if you're talking about wide receivers anyway, because there's obviously, you know, uh, Cooper DeGene is still there, but he might be the best player on the board. All right. DeGene so maybe, is yeah. the best player on the board. But Xavier Leggett, A.D. Mitchell, Lab McConkey, Ricky Persall, Keon Coleman, and the two other guys from Washington, my guy Troy Franklin, although I think that'd be too high, but like all those guys are still there. That's yeah. eight receivers deep. Dabo in the background. Oh, yeah, that's a really, club or something. There's like big TV screens. Huge TV screen, like uncomfortable looking chairs. Yeah. Jesus. That lady better be careful, man. <laughs> Don't move too fast. That uh, I mean No jumping. Uh, there must be it's like a lot definitely of definitely the club. There's gonna be a lot of tape. tape. Oh yeah. Double sided tape. tape is key. <laughs> Probably like double reinforced. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm duct a big tape, fan baby. of duct tape. Yeah. Alright, we have two picks left in the first round. Who knows? Maybe the Patriots trade up to thirty one or thirty two. We will find out, but we will uh, wrap up the show. Our final thoughts. Patriots take Drake May. Everybody seems to like it here. It is Keith, it is Hart, it is Shime here on WEEI. With the third pick. In the 2024 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Drake May, quarterback, North Carolina. That was about three hours ago when uh, the New England Patriots selected Drake May with the number three overall pick. Heart Shine were pumped about that. I like it as well. They needed a quarterback. It was uh, sometimes we overthink things. We had two months to discuss it. And uh, we were coming up with all different scenarios. Are they going to trade down? Are they going to shock the world and take J.J. McCarthy? No, they do not. They end up taking the uh, quarterback out of North Carolina. At 31, the 49ers took Ricky Pearsall, the wide receiver from Florida. And at 32, it looks like we, we have, have a, trade. a trade. A trade. The Carolina Panthers are jumping up to 32, one spot uh, in the, <laughs> into the first round all here, right, swapping great. with the Buffalo Bills. And uh, I guess the Panthers are going to go get their guy. Not AD sure Mitchell, who it is. probably. Pro it got it. Like, I didn't. I, mean, I like it, Ricky but... Pearsall, but I didn't necessarily think he was a first round pick. So the Bills move down one pick, so they just lose out on the fifth year option, and they gain and they do a pick swap from two hundred to one forty one. So they wow. get one forty one and so give they up two hundred. Fifty one spots. Fifty nine spots. Yeah, Fifty nine spots. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I said. Let they, me finish. They move Jesus. down one spot and move <laughs> a lot up going 59. on in this head. So right, right now, now hey. the Patriots uh, are still with the 34th pick, which will be the second pick tomorrow night. I wish nice. it was tonight. I wish we were just on all night. Unfortunately, Let's just go straight through. I'm in. I have no. I have nowhere to go. So the Patriots pick. I'm going to be here tomorrow morning anyway. That is true. Screw them. Tell them they're not going. We're, we're doing every show from now to tomorrow night's draft. <laughs> okay. So Bills, hey. Panthers just flip-flop. So right now the Panthers are on the clock at 32, which will be the final pick of round one. The pick is in. And then the Bills, as of this moment, will kick off round two tomorrow. Uh, only a final few minutes here. So let me just uh, say our draft coverage. On WEEI has been brought to you by McFarland Energy, the home heating oil delivery and HVAC pros at McFarlandEnergy.com, by Chock Full of Nuts Coffee, and by McCormick Grillmates Seasoning. So they got this thing down to a science. They're going to have this last pick in right before midnight, which Perfect. is kind of what, we, what we expected. Also, when this program uh, says goodbye, before I forget, 
Let me just thank everybody that's been a part of the show. Stiz doing a great job, and Zach, and, of course, Zeke, who has been running the Twitch and the YouTube. You can watch all of our shows on Twitch and YouTube as well. But those guys have been killing it. There's been a ton to get to all night long, going to the podium, getting Mel Kuyper, Bill Belichick audio, uh, and everything else. Apparently, according to the Twitch chat, Bill Belichick was saying, I can't believe that Xavier Leggett is still on the board. Yeah. To what Shime said, then don't draft Xavier Leggett. Yeah, my, <laughs> my immediate response receiver, is don't take stay it. Stay away from him. So the guy who wanted to kill Harry, the guy who didn't want Debo, who preceded yeah. Leggett at South Carolina. Interesting. Leggett's also the guy that claimed he was six foot four and measured in at six foot one. <laughs> what? So like, <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear about no, this? No, I, I missed that. Yeah, so prior to the combine, he said he was like six three, six four. That was his listing. Goes to the combine, six foot one. I mean, it happens. Oh, hearts like I get that. <laughs> it's like Davy. Uh, yeah. I'm five ten. Like the five ten. Oh yeah, one. I'm six feet, bro. What do you want stilts? Look I'm five from... nine. I just re I renewed five my nine. license and I had to like confirm the old license numbers. So. Five nine. Yeah. If you're five nine, I'm six four. <laughs> You, Xavier like at seven two. <laughs> like you can't lie that much. Like, dude, they're gonna measure you. Yeah, you're going. You're going Usually it's an inch. You lie about oh, an inch. Like that's why. That's why guys, when you go to the senior bowl, senior bowl, like Tavondre Sweat, I'm not gonna weigh in because I'm probably gonna weigh in around four hundred pounds. Yeah. Right? So oh, then I, big weigh, guy. Right, right. I weigh in at the combine three sixty six. Okay, everybody's happy. Right. <laughs> yeah. You, one inch. It's really all you can lie. But about. I do In a lot think, of things. Un unfortunately, we don't have a draft show tomorrow. Uh, Red Sox baseball returns tonight. I know. I wish we did. But best guess right now, before we get to this Panthers pick, best guess, Shime at 34 tomorrow. Obviously, the guy could go right here, but who do you think they take at 34? Uh, I've been kind of thrown off, so I'm going to try and throw a curveball. I think they'll go with, uh, I I'm going to go with Jalen Polk out of Washington. Uh, there's been a lot of smoke about okay. him being a ri late riser. Uh, wide again, receiver. Yeah, wide receiver. It's a need. It's chaos. I'll, I'll go with Jalen Polk. So I am going to go with either A.D. Mitchell or uh, Cooper DeGene. Yeah. I think DeGene could go to Buffalo with the first pick. The yep. way they've turned over their defense a little bit. They need cheap defensive help, playmakers in the back end. Um, so I think he could be their pick. If that's it, I go. What is it? Oh, uh, I thought they just had... traded the 32nd pick to the Carolina Panthers. Who they take it? With the 32nd pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Xavier Leggett, <laughs> wide receiver, <laughs> Got it. South Carolina. Nailed it. <laughs> Good. Now the Patriots yeah. can't take him. Thank yeah, God. Yes, he's he's Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, you're welcome. In Detroit. Yep. For a record-setting night. Sure was. Thanks, Don't Roger. forget, over the next two days, okay. you can break the all-time NFL draft record. All right, that'll do, Roger. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nope, yep, thank you. So, yeah, Cooper DeGene or A.D. Mitchell, I think, is going to be the pick. Whichever one the Bills don't take. So I think I the love, Bills could take either, too. I would love DeGene, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'll take A.D. Mitchell. I think they're both first-round picks you're getting at 34, 100%. in my opinion. I agree. That'll Thanks be... to Nix and Pennick. Well, maybe Nix and Pennick's those two this guys. This is similar to that Barmore year where, like, all of a sudden, Barmore's there in the th early 30s. Like, all right, we're trading up. Go get him. Yeah. And you get a first-round talent there in the second round. Now, does Buffalo continue to move down? Are they looking to acquire picks? Are they looking to get yeah, capital? Possible. What are they doing? up there that's the one concern if you're the Patriots but I think there's two players on the board that I would welcome and this is weird world where we're happy leaving drafts Christian Gonzalez a year ago Bizarre. Drake May now yeah. we're already talking about maybe being happy at 34 tomorrow I'd take a, on AD here? Mitchell I would take I, I would take Lad McConkey. I didn't think he was worth the first round pick but there you are all of a sudden there you don't have to trade up you don't have to give up any other assets add him to the wide receiver room I'd be good with that uh guys like Keon Coleman and Troy Franklin I feel like if it ends up going down the route of they want to add picks, like say A.D. Mitchell goes off the board right away, then maybe they move down like the middle of the second round, and then you can maybe still get one of those guys and get extra picks. Maybe that's I think the other the guy process. to keep an eye on would be Kingsley Suamati out of yep. BYU. That oh, yeah. Tackle. yeah. Right. I think Morgan need. is still out there. Yeah. Right? No, Jordan Morgan's gone. He went he to the, uh, yeah. the Green Bay Packers. Pay attention, Hart. Jordan Morgan did go to the Packers. Yeah. So you it ended up being six quarterbacks in the first 12 picks, seven wide receivers <laughs> overall after that late wow. run. I thought there was going to be eight a month ago, so I just missed that. But the quarterbacks were really the highlight, obviously, starting with Caleb Williams and Jane Daniels, then the Patriots getting their guy with Drake May. Uh, the shocker of all shockers was Michael Penix going eight to the Falcons. Still can't believe that. J.J. McCarthy, 10 to the Vikings, and then Bo Nix, 12 to the Broncos. 
Never happened in the history of the NFL draft six quarterbacks in the first 12 picks. So Hart wasn't kidding when he said there's going to be like a documentary on yep. the 2024. Yeah. Good or bad. Quarterback. Oh, they could all be they could all be horrible. They could all yep. be great or somewhere in the middle. We whatever. talk about the Brady six. This is going to be the 24 six. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice. Thank you. Not bad. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate it. Hey, you know, 11.55, Shime's still cooking. Still cooking. Still cooking. <laughs> and at 6 a.m., he'll be, be cooking You'll be back again. at 6 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah, I will be back in this building by 5.30 tomorrow morning. Very good. And then, uh, Hart, you got coverage on Saturday, which is good because that's when rounds four through seven happen. Yeah, please uh, tune in. We'll have a fresh Six Rings pod recapping first round of the draft tomorrow morning. Uh, check WEEI.com all day Friday, all day Saturday. Lots of updates. And then Fitzy and I will be on uh, Saturday afternoon, noon to three. Awesome. Thanks, everybody, for listening tonight. It's literally the favorite show of the year that yep. we do. It was an absolute blast. Thanks again to Thanks Stiz, for having me, boys. Zeke, and Zach for uh, crushing it uh, tonight. And if you missed any of the show, check out the podcast, The Rich Keefe Show, on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, great draft night, boys. I'm Hart. A pleasure. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. A uh, quick mini show before Red Sox pregame. And then Hart on Saturday. Shine, of course in the morning. So uh, have a great rest of your night, and we will talk to you then. There's only one left thing to say.